Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you for another episode of Medieval Dynasty, now available on Steam from RenderCube Games and Toplets Productions. Let's jump right into it. We're going to do some farming today, so if you want to know how to farm, if you're new to the game and don't understand the process, we're on day four of season one, which I have seven-day seasons set up. So we're going to show you how to set up a field how to, and the steps you have to go through to get that thing ready to go. All right, let's jump into this. We're gonna look at my inventory first here. Why are we looking at the inventory A-Train? Because I want you to understand what it is I've done. If you've been keeping up with this series so far, then you'll know uh, we've picked up a lot of, well, quite a few seeds along the way with running the looting path. Go back and watch episode one so you see where we went and what we did. Like we had seven beetroot seeds, we had three cabbage seeds, we had, um, Six or seven oat grain, we had seven poppy seeds, okay? Now, why do you have 10, A-Train? Because I ran over to Gostovia and bought some more. Why'd you buy more, A-Train? That's a fine question, because I have a field, or I'm going to create a field that's 10 by 6, all right? And did I, oh, I messed up my math somehow. That's okay. We'll get it. I'll, you, you'll figure it out, all right? So here's how this is going to work. Um, we're going to lay out the field, and I'm going to show you how this kind of looks because the fields and the orchards run north, south, east, west. Everything else you can position, you can turn and all that. The fields, you can't, all right? That's a done deal, all right? So let me get this. So here's what we got. I went and bought a little extra seed. And I bought some carrot seed too, because you plant seed, you can plant carrots in the winter or in the summer, and they grow for two seasons. Beetroot plants in the spring grows for two seasons. Cabbage plants plants in the spring or summer grows for one season, then you harvest. So we're going to plant this cabbage here. Then we're going to harvest it in the summer. And then we're going to get additional seeds from that. We're going to turn around and plant another crop of cabbage. All right. The point here is we didn't spend a whole lot of money. I had to spend money on fertilizer, which I can't believe I only have 56. I don't know how I goofed that up. I should have four more to have uh, a total of 60, but that's okay. Um, so here's what we got. We're at Samir here. Now behind us, all right, this is our flax field. Flax is a field you should set up first. This is your money crop. All right. And I do a 10 by 6 field because it's a manageable size, all right? So now, I've got this road. Look where I'm looking on the compass at the top. See how it runs due west, all right? See how this is laid out facing due west here? All right, so what I want to do is, if you want to make this stuff look nice and neat, this road barely overlaps the edge of this field. And I planned it that way. I kind of kind of got it as tight as I can in here, all right? So now to set up the field... The first thing you want to do is make sure you have your materials on you. So we have seeds. We have we have 60 seeds we're going to plant. We're going to do like a row of beetroot, which plants in the spring, harvests in the fall. We're going to do two rows of cabbage, which we'll harvest in the summer. Uh, we're going to do a row of poppy, which we'll harvest in the fall. And then we'll uh, do a row of oat grain, which we'll harvest in the fall. So three rows of the six are going to harvest in the... Um, in the fall the cabbage will harvest in the summer then we'll turn oh wait carrots beetroot carrots 20 40 yeah okay no we're gonna have all six rows six by ten all right that's our farm size our field size okay so i'm going to try to plant this where we have the stuff that's going to take two seasons and we will actually have those kind of grouped together the cabbage will be separate because we're going to take that seed and then our flax field we're going to reseed that with cabbage for the summer Am I making sense here? So, and then we'll just take that and just keep flipping it because we're not, we're not going to have any people for a bit. And even if we do, it's going to be easy to feed them. Okay. All right. So to lay out your fields, you need to face one of the cardinal directions on your compass at the top of the screen here, north, south, east, or west. All right. So what we're going to do is kick into Q. Oh, we got some uh, simple small bags too. Make sure you have bags. All right. And those you can make with leather. You just handcraft them. All right. So... I only have one leather on me. Hopefully, uh, 
I think one bag I figured out will last, oh yeah, I got a bunch of them, uh, will last for 60 tiles. Now, a hoe will not, a hoe will last for 54 tiles. So I have a couple extra hoes on me. And now I've got stuff to make an extra one, all right? So to plant your seeds, you need seeds, you need fertilizer, you need simple bags to sow them with, and then you need a uh, hose to grub the fields with, okay? Those are our tools. We have all those tools on us. All right, so we're facing west. All right, now what I'm going to do is kick into the menu. We're going to go to buildings, go to farming, come over here to field. See how this stick is red? I'm lining it up with the edge of this field, all right? Now, I know I can't build on the road. So if I, keep, if I face west and I sidestep over, it turns green. Now, if I click the, I'm holding my left mouse button. See how it came back towards me? I'm going to look forward, and now it's going forward. Now, one thing I did offline, I'm going to walk forward until I get to 10. See at the bottom it says field 10 by 1. Now I'm going to sidestep left, 4, 5, 6. What I did, and now I'm going to release the button and click it. Boom. Now it puts down stakes. That's our field. I came through and I cleared, I had to clear out a tree. And then I cleared out all of the resources that were in this space except for the morel mushrooms. Okay. So that's how you lay out the field. All right. Now, these sticks mark the basically each tile. I'm going to stand right here, walk up to it, and now I got to grub the field. So we're going to start here. Oh, let, let's actually, let's take a quick check of the clock. It's 1126, so it's 1120, all right? So now I'm going to step forward, boom, boom, all right? This process will not take terribly long, but we've got to just grub the field. And the process is you lay out the field, then you grub the field, okay? And now we've unlocked the hen house. We are unlocking buildings very quickly because we're focused on gathering and crafting and starting to build. Now, the only building I've built so far is my house because you got to do that to, to do anything else. All right. All right. So there we've done one row. Now we're going to start over here, go over to this row. Okay. Now, this is building your farming skill. And that's why it unlocked the hen house. So that as you build your farming skill, it also builds points towards your technology, which is your buildings which is your recipes, all right? And it's kind of funny, sometimes the building unlocks recipes for things that are entirely different. All right, there was a hoe that just broke. If you have extras on you, it will automatically replace it and you just keep on trucking, okay? So now we've done two rows, all right? And then we're going to finish up here. Now see the stamina is kind of counting down because I'm moving con continually. I'm not letting it reset. But it's plenty for us to get through. Uh, we're also overweight at the moment. And that's in part because I have a log in my pocket. <laughs> is that a log in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? Okay. Remember we started at roughly 11.20. All right. We're done. It took an hour to grub 10 by 6. Okay. Now you'll do faster... Uh, as you unlock skills in the farming, oh, that's not farming, here's farming. Uh, skilled farmer, that's additional crops. Careful farmer makes your tools last longer, which as soon as we unlock some more points, and we're going to very soon, we're at 210 of 250. Each time we, we strike the ground with that hoe, it, it, it unlocks, I mean, it's, it's more points, okay? Uh, survival tech, we've now unlocked. So we have building technology, we've unlocked the well and resource storage, okay? Our next target is going to be woodshed. We can build a hunting lodge or herbalist hut. And that's from uh, when you uh, hunt animals, set traps and fish. And I had basically set the rabbit trap outside of my house. All right. And then um, we unlock the hen house from doing far farming activities. When you, when you start laying out your first field, you'll start gathering points here. Okay. So now we're up to 60 points. We're going to unlock the pigsty before this is all said and done, I think. All right. Um, and then in production technology, this is from crafting stuff. We unlock the workshop, the kitchen, the smithy. Three critical things. Now, as soon as you can get a uh, sewing hut, that's great too. So just keep making stone knives. 
Uh, or you can craft stuff in the kitchen um, or make stuff in the smithy or in the workshop. Um, I, I'm not sure if, do we have the woodcutters? Yeah, we should. Woodshed. Oh, we got to get the woodshed because that's the first um, job you should put a villager on, in my opinion. Okay. So this is all the stuff we've unlocked. I mean, it's day four. All right. So we got our, our 10 by 6 field. Now what we want to do is make sure we got a bag equipped and we do in slot two. All right. Simple small bags require three leather and then you handcraft them by hitting Q, handcrafting, and then boom, simple bag. All right. That's all you do. And then you've got to make sure you equip them. In this case, we got them in slot two. We're going to switch to that now. All right. So now we've got fertilizer. Uh, we're going to actually jog over the side because I'm going to, oh, you know what? That's kind of dumb. I was already standing here. I'll go get four fertilizer and take care of that offline. All right. So now we're going to kind of stand kind of where we thought we were. All right. And so fertilizer, we right click and you get the option for orchard or field. We're going to click on field. We're going to come down here to the thing that looks stinky. Right. So fertilizer. All right. Let's go back to the map. It's 1244. Now, again, I, and I was looking at the skills and I didn't get through this all the way, but there are buffs that allow you to farm faster and you burn less stamina. So you'll do you'll see how I do this. And then as I move, my stamina goes down briefly when I click it, but then it, it pings right back up when I'm moving forward to the next spot. But if you walk in between the two tiles, you just turn. So you walk forward, boom, boom. And in this case, if it does not show the animation of fertilizer going down, make sure you wash your hands. <laughs> That's disgusting. Uh, it doesn't count against you. Now, if you take uh, a tool and you whack like against a tree an extra time, it will work against the um, durability of that tool. Okay. But in this case, it will not use fertilizer. It will not use um, the bag anymore. All right. And there's the first two rows. So I'm going to come over here and we'll do the next two rows. We'll step into the middle. This is just to me is the most efficient way to do this. So we just move forward and you can just make a little adjustments for your positioning while you're actually in the animation. <laughs> when did we start? 1244? Yeah, I think so. But you can see that stamina is really not going down much, so that's not a concern. Now, when you're hoeing, that's a different story because that physical activity, because you do a couple of them at a time, and then it won't recover as quickly. But because uh, you saw we were down to uh, like, you know, half our stamina. All right, we're almost done here. Now, the other thing is, how do you get fertilizer? All right, so we got a new level for farming. All right, so let's stop for a second. What? Oh, that's the road. Shoo. Okay, that would have been stupid. Uh, let me do this one and then just get in position for this one. All right, now let's let let's let's go get some points because when you're doing this, your skills. Watch, we're gonna have two points to spend. It's one point on the first one, and then it's two, and then it goes one, two, one, two, one, two. It's like dancing. Okay, so. We have some options here. We currently have 5% more experience gained from farming activities. However, we can do careful farmer, which reduces the durability loss of farming tools. Now that's a tier one skill as well. So you could start with that. Skilled farmer, okay, that's, that's a possible one. So let's review the ones you don't need. Village whistleblower is for when you have a mount. Skilled rider is for when you have a mount. Carrot and stick and knight rider also for when you have a mount. You do not need those early game. What you want is to build your farming knowledge, which means you want to have, you know, more experience from your activities. Uh, a skilled farmer will give you additional crops. I don't know if that's a big deal. Careful farmer extends the life of your tools. Farming master. So we've got a tier one skill unlocked, which unlocks tier, tier two. We can't pick tier. Th we can't do tier three stuff until we unlock a tier two. Don't do village whistleblower. Do farming master. Because what we want to do, farmer's trance is faster farming for the next 10 seconds, okay? And then that just keeps going. The, the 10 seconds is assuming you're doing the activity and you're continually doing the activity. 
to reset the clock. Okay. It's like when you're building, it's a similar thing with building. Um, once you complete a construction project, it's like building a wall. The clock resets. Okay. Because that counts. If you're just, you know, half doing stuff, that's a different story. All right. So uh, farmer's trance is good. We don't need skilled rider. Skilled orchard men means more crops in the orchard. All right. So ideally, what we want to do here is probably make our tools last longer. So we'll double click on this and hit F. Uh, we could go to farming master or farmer's trance, which means faster farming. I'm actually going to drop back and punt to go with more knowledge. So now we get 10% more knowledge. All right. And then we need 500 points. That'll help us get the 500 points quicker. All right. So now let's finish this up. So we're getting more knowledge now as we perform the uh, activity. 10% as opposed to 5%. Which will help us reach the next level faster. And then we'll get another skill point. And at that point we may do, uh, you know, I'll probably max out. Uh, no, I, mm, oh, that's a good question. Uh, you know what? We're going to build the smithy before then. And we'll start making stone tools, which will last longer than wood hose. Um, and so that really extends the, uh, are we done? That's it. Okay. So, so yeah, now we got 56 plots done. All right. So there's our 56 plots. All right. So what we're going to do is come back over this side here. Now we've got to, we got to grub this up again. So let's pull up our hoe. All right. So now we got to go through all this again. All right, whoa, 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 hold up. Let's switch to the map. Uh, 1428, so that took about an hour and a half to spread the manure. So an hour to grub, an hour and a half to uh, sow. We were sowing out manure. It would take the same amount of time to sow seeds. All right, so let's take that. So in the end, this should be about a six hour process. We have to, we have to hoe the field twice that's two hours, an hour and a half each time to spread manure and spread seeds. So that's three hours, five hours total. I can math. Yeah. So five hours. All right. And this is what I've what I've stated from the beginning in the whole idea with these 10 by six fields. And if you zoom in, uh, you can see where your plots are here. Okay. Um, the whole thing has been predicated on the idea that this is a very manageable size field to work with. It's not going to cost you a ton of money, although now we're, we're kind of close to broke because I, I was just going to work with the seeds I had, but then I thought, you know what, why not just plant a whole row and just do an even number? And then we'll see what seeds we get out of it. And then that'll give us that many more going in. So we didn't buy a full set of, you know, like poppy seeds. We started with seven. We bought three, right? And so notice the, the color difference there. Uh, also, the other thing you want to do is make sure you're gathering and planning for your next plant, your next uh, season, as far as fertilizer goes. So as soon as you start growing a lot of food, you'll have food waste unless you sell it or your people consume it. But early game, I think you have a lot of food waste, in which case you can just lay it out. All right, we're going to do that. All right, so let's say one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? And it took an hour to do 60 tiles. We already knew that because we've already done this. Okay, so now we're going to come back over here to this side because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do cabbage down that side because uh, that would be easy to harvest and we'll do the longer term stuff over here. So um, let's switch back to our bag and then we right click. No, we don't do that. We hit right click and now we're going to choose what we're going to plant. We have oat grain. We have 10 wheat grain. We're not going to do any. All right. We have oat grain. We have carrot seeds. We have cabbage, beetroot and poppies. Okay. Poppies are pretty. We'll just throw them out here on the end. And this, this is going to be a little more technical because we're doing this um, one tile at a time. 
right? Because we're doing, I mean, we're basically doing a rainbow field here. We're not doing individual fields. We're just setting up a field with 60 tiles and we're going to fill it up. Oh, there goes one simple bag. And we're going to fill it with all the seeds we have. Now we bought extra, but that's okay. This will maximize our return at the end of the uh, season when we, we uh, pull these out. All right. So there's all the poppy seeds, right? So now we'll, uh, we'll right click again, go back into seeds. Okay. And so there's no poppy seeds, no onion, no beet. There's 10 beetroot. All right, so let's do the beetroot seeds. Sure. Because these also are going till the fall. Poppies are two season, beetroots are two season, and the uh, grains, wheat, oat, and rye are two season as well. Oh, and carrots are two season as well. And you see it's getting later in the day because the shadows are kind of closing on us. But this is stuff you can do overnight. And I, I really recommend you do this yourself early game. Um, because you want to build your farming skills. Uh, you can later have the your villagers do this and it will build your farming technology, but it will not build Rasimir's skills. All right, so now we're going to right click again and we're not going to do carrots. We're going to do, uh, we got oat grain and then, am I having a senior moment here? We've done, okay, we've got 20 cabbage seeds. Carrots, that's what we got. Okay, carrots are two seasons, and then oats are two seasons. We'll do the oat grain here. I should have done the oat grain on the side, at the edge, where I put the poppies, but that's okay. It would have been prettier to stack stuff, you know, grows smaller to taller. It would have made a nicer background, but oh well. But here we want to make sure we're just getting this in that, that same tile row, right? We don't want one over there, so be careful you're, you know, actually planting them in the row you intend to plant them in. Once you're doing a field with the same crop, it won't matter because you can do the same, you can do the process where you're, you're straddling the line. All right, so now we've got to right click and now we're doing, we did, oh, carrots, okay. So carrots, everything from carrots over, these are two seasons. So these will harvest in the fall. Uh, in the meantime, the cabbage will harvest in the summer and then we're going to take as much of that as we can and we're going to plant it in the flax field after we harvest the flax. Now, the fertilizer is going to be an issue. So after you get done with this, um, go gather unripe berries. Now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't gather them from right around your village. If you're running back and forth to Gustovia or whatever, grab a bunch along the way. Even cut across the river onto the Borowo side and uh, gather them there. Uh, let's see, rye grain, flaxseed, cabbage, cabbage, cabbage. Yeah, we are cabbage. All right, now, now we can straddle and we can do our back and forth thing. All right. So uh, gather unripe berries. And what you're going to do is you got to do the math on this. It takes one unripe berry or one food item will turn to rot if you leave it sitting on the ground at season change, okay? Um, so now if it's fresh, it may not immediately turn to rot. So, but in most cases they will. Uh, like uh, if you've cooked meat or cooked fish, sometimes it may take two seasons or you can put it in a composting bin, right? So uh, that's a thought as well. All right, so there's that and boom. All right, our field is sown. Well, I'm going to go take care of that. But that is how you set up your fields, okay? Now, come the end of summer, I mean, end of spring, flax will be ready to harvest. And for that, I'm going to need either a scythe or a sickle, right? And cabbage, you just, you gather by hand. Cabbage, uh, carrots, poppy, no, I think you use, uh, you may use the, the scythe or sickle on the, that as well beetroot i think you gather by hand and then the grains you have to use a scythe or sickle to cut them down all right but now we've got fields now let's talk about real quick if uh, if we go in here and look at our management all right how do you manage the fields you go over here to this you click on it. we got field one and field two now you can name these so if i click on this see how it says custom name down here boom we're going to put 
flat flax. I can spell. All right, flax and cabbage. Boom. So now I know what that is. And then this right here, this one here, we're going to hit, uh, and we're just going to call it the uh, um, the uh, catch-all field. Okay. All right. Now, and it's got them. Eh, that's dumb. Let me let me go back and change this then. Catch cabbage comes before catch, so that alphabetizes better. Boom. All right. Now we got field one, field two, because it's going to alphabetize based on what you name it. All right. So you could put a number in there. You could put a letter in there, A, B, C, D, and then put what you've got. And that's what I recommend is you name your fields so you know what's growing. You can look at the icons here, but here's the trick. What's this versus this versus this versus this? Okay, that's onion. That's beetroot. Cabbage is obvious. Onion and beetroot can be tricky to figure out. Carrots, pretty obvious. Poppy, okay, that's straightforward. And then on your orchard, you got apples, plums, pears, cherries, and then this is hops. All right, but figuring out the difference here as this is flax, and we know this is oats. I think this is wheat and this is rye. Okay. So now, once you have a, a farm shed and you have people working the fields, all right, if I double click on this, you'll see the status of the field plants growth. Okay. When it's ready to harvest at the end, and when we go into summer, it'll turn yellow. Now, if you look at field two, which I got to hit escape first and then double click. You can see everything's planted and then you can see the four tiles that are, that are uh, unfertilized. All right. Status, no building or farm shed. If you're doing this yourself, you don't need them. Only when you automate this and you assign people to it, then that's, you know, how that works. And your villager working schedule is how it automates this so your people know what to do. The best time to do that is when you've got a number of people in your village and you can assign someone to the fields and you've got a couple of three fields to work and you want to go off doing other stuff because maybe you want to take a day of the month to go up to the North Cave and clear out all the ore. And, you know, so you've got all that to work with or you want to go build stuff. But I, that's why I do seven day seasons. I got a couple days to build. I got a couple days to explore the map and gather stuff and do quests on another day and a couple days to uh, to go gather things or hunt or whatever. Early game, uh, do all this yourself because that builds your skills as opposed to your villager skills, which builds your technology. You do it, it builds your skills and your technology. Does that make sense? Okay. So if we go back to our skills now and we look at farming, we're a good chunk of the way along here, okay? Uh, in our technology for farming, we're almost to the pigsty. We're at 93.6 points. We'll pick up a little bit more because we've got four more tiles to fertilize, then grub, then plant. So that's effectively 12 actions we have to perform still. And then we'll see where we stand before we unlock the pigsty. This is day four of year one, folks. This is how fast you should move along. We don't want to build a hen house right away because you got to feed the chickens. To feed the chickens, you got to have a barn where you can take rye and oat grain and mix them with uh, straw to make animal feed. That's, that's not smart to do. I mean, you could buy the animal feed and if you're doing stuff to make and sell things and support that activity, that's fine. But I would hold off on getting animals for a year or two. Till you get your village up and running, you get your first three, four, five, even six people. Because then once you get a hen house or a pigsty, pigsty will give you manure, hen house does not. Okay. But you're not going to get a ton of manure. So you need a smarter way to get fertilizer. And that is going to be unripe berries in the spring. Gather them 10 per tile of farm field you have. We have two fields, 60 tiles each. That's 120 tiles. Now, when we go into summer, okay, we're only going to be planting cabbage. 
So we're probably only going to need to have about 40 fertilizer. 40 fertilizer is 400 rot, which is 400 unripe berries. Okay? You see the, how the math works there? Each food item is one rot. So once all that turns to rot, then you'll go in the barn to the work, the work table, and it's 10 to 1. 10 rot equals 1 fertilizer. Now, manure converts 2 to 1. But to have manure, you got to have farm animals, which means you got to have a food supply for them. All right? So don't put yourself in a situation where you have to rely on that early. Everybody's like, oh, do pig sty and you'll get tons of manure and stuff. That's years down the road, in my opinion. Keep it simple, stupid. All right? That's, use the KISS method. Keep it simple. All right? And just go collect unripe berries in the spring. In the summertime, go collect ripe berries. And then you may have some food waste left over starting to build up. Because after spring, I mean, the cabbage is going to keep, most of the food's going to keep for a year. And at that point, you can put it out for rot. Okay? But the point is, you want to have a way to get fertilizer because that's what gets expensive. And it gets, it's hard to transport too. I've got to run to Gustovia. Now, where can you get this stuff? Uh, Gustovia, Rolnica, and Denica, I believe. Those are where the three barns are. Yeah, Denica. So I'm in between Denica and Gustovia. I'll just run back to Gustovia. And uh, that gets us um, the farm supplies we need from, uh, what's his name over there? I forget the guy's name, but whatever. So we got four more cabbage seed. We just got to go get, um, actually, no, I don't have to go. Oh, I thought this through. Move, bunny. I do not actually have to go buy fertilizer. I just have to build a barn. Why? Because I have manure and I have eight of it, which means I have four fertilizer right there. I've just got to convert it. So. That's how you start and set up your farming. All right. Now, if I don't want to carry all these tools around because I don't have a farm shed yet, I'm just going to throw them down here on the ground. I do not need uh, the hoe. All right. So I just chuck that. Uh, the wheat, I'm going to plant in the fall. Okay. Because again, when we get the barn, we'll have the threshing floor. And that then allows us to thresh the wheat. And you do that with oats, grain, and flax. With oats, grain, uh, oats, rye, and flax, excuse me, oats, rye, and wheat, you then get the wheat grain or the oat grain or the uh, rye grain. That can be used for cooking. That can be used to create animal feed. Um, or it can be ground up in the flour for cooking. Or it can be reseeded into the field. Okay. Now, flax... You thresh on the barn floor, and it gives you flax seeds, which you can go plant the next year, because you can only plant flax in the spring, or you can sell them. Now, in our case, early game, unless you're desperate for cash, keep at least enough to reseed that field of 60 by or 60 tiles. All right? So keep 60, sell the rest if you need money that bad. But there's plenty of ways to make money that you shouldn't, you take those seeds and you plant them and get more seeds out of that. Plus you get more flax stalks. That's the two components you get when you thresh flax, is you get flax seeds and flax stalks. The stalks, you take to the sewing hut and 10 stalks makes one linen thread. Linen thread sells pretty good, or you can make stuff with it. You can convert one linen thread into a linen cloth, or you can use it to make things with it, all right? And then you can sell those for money. So that's, that's a good thing to do there. So the wheat plants either in spring or autumn. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait. We're going to build the barn. We're going to thresh this. And then we'll plant it in autumn with our rye grain. Okay. So I got 16 rye grain. I will probably go buy four more. So I have 20, so that's 10 rows in the secondary field there. 
boom. And then that will convert to however much we get. If we get two for one, then we'll have 32 for the next crop. You see what I'm saying? And then, after, and then the third plant uh, crop, which will be year three, we should have enough for a full field. And then what you may well do is alternate rye with oat. Because oat plants in the spring, rye plants in the fall, and then they harvest in the opposing season. So you have one field dedicated to oats and rye, and then you can grow that to make your animal feed. Now, I, I started doing this process. Let's, let's look at this one more time. How do you automate the fields? Okay, You click on it. See how it's, it shows plants growth? As long as you keep this like this, your people, when they're ready for harvest, well, I'm, as long as they got the tools, they'll go harvest it. And then it will go into your resource storage. And if you have somebody in the barn threshing flax, for example, because this is flax, then they will get the flax out of the barn, out of the resource storage. They will thresh it and turn it into flax seeds and flax stalks, which will also go back into resource storage. Then you can take it from there and do what you need to do with it. If you have somebody working the sewing hut, and you have them assigned to make linen thread, they will go get the flax stalks, go to the sewing machine, and convert them into linen thread, which will then go back into resource storage to be used for whatever else. The flax seeds, then you have options with what to do with them. If you keep them in resource storage or you put them in the storage bin or trunk in the farm shed, your people will plant them. All right, now, so let's back up and look at this one though. Now, as soon as this comes to harvest, this will get harvested in the summer. Of course, I'm gonna be doing this myself. If you wanna change stuff, okay, you click on this. See how it says change plant type or edit field? Hit H, all right? If we wanna change this, see how we just took all this out? Okay, that's currently is set up to clear, all right? You see what I'm saying? But we don't want to clear it. We want, we want cabbage there. So this is what the people would plant next time. And don't do it. I would do it between seasons. So now we're going to manage assignment. It says cabbage. All right. Hit escape back up here. And then you can draw back in. So if we had this set up to be automated, these four would get planted with cabbage. If there's cabbage seeds... Of course, it's got to be fertilized first. We're going to do that once we build the barn. All right. So that's how you change it, though. Stop field editing. You hit that, and that takes you back to kind of here. This is what it's going to be. All right. So I know this is kind of complicated, but this is the way I feel it's smart to get started because you, you're going to save money if you just be patient and work the cycle two to three years. You're going to have so much food. You're, not, you're going to be throwing it away anyway, so it's going to become rot. And then that's going to get turned into fertilizer. Okay. Um, which is why I would say you could, in theory, plant flax in the spring. So there's your money crop. Plant cabbage in the summer. That's the only thing it plants in the summer. So there's food. And then in the fall, plant either rye or wheat, which then will harvest in the spring. And then you cycle again. But you're fertilizing the field three times in a year. And that's going to get expensive. I, I would just recommend keeping it simple and keeping it to two. Once you get more fields, then and then you have to start micromanaging it when you change it from season to season. And, and that's something that can be a little bit aggravating. All right. Um, so um, something to think about. Early game, you should be doing all this yourself. It's that simple. All right. So uh, do we want to keep the changes? No, we're not going to keep the changes. Uh, and that's going to, catch. so if we go back on it, it's going to show it back where it was. You want to keep the changes once you make changes. All right. Okay. So now that's how you do farming. All right. Now the question that's uh, going to come up into play as we're winding down day one here is you know, see that bunny rabbit over there watch this
Oh, I missed him. Crap. If he hadn't moved, I'd have been okay. I'm going to run out here and get my arrow. There it is. Give me my arrow back. Okay. Hello. All right. Is laying out the village. How do we want to lay out our village? Well, here's the trick I've learned. Okay. For sake. Oh, there's another rabbit. Got him. <laughs> yeah. That's good shooting, Tex. Oh, we're hungry and we're dirty. So let's go get clean, get some water, and then we'll uh, we'll come back and discuss. Anybody else? Anyone else? Anyone? No? Okay. Uh, you don't want to eat when you're dirty because that will get you poisoned. All right. This is what's great about this location here. Check this out. Let me put the bow away. So we're going to walk in the water. And look how deep it gets real quick. Boom. We're going to hit the control key, go underwater, pop back up, and then we look at I, our dirt, our cleanliness, dirtiness, stinkiness is at zero. So we're, we've, we're hydrated. Now we just need some food. Oh, there's Broadleaf Plantain. Let's grab that. We've got 99. Oh, wait, there's more. Let's grab one more. We've got 100. No more than 100. Why is that, A-Train? Because that's one kilogram. You don't want to waste your storage. Uh... Let's see what I got here. Let's throw down this rye bread. Boom. Uh, let's throw down some roasted meat. Done. Okay. All right. So back to our village design. When you're building your village, nothing to me is more annoying than having to run all over the place to gather crap out of resource storage because you have to gather crap out of resource storage. I really recommend when you lay out a build site, if you can either write down what it's going to take to build the place, like this house here, okay? It takes like 12 stones for the foundation, and then you need like 10 logs for the frame, and then you need, um, for a solid stone wall, you need 8 stones plus a log. For a window wall or a door wall, you need 6 stones plus 2 logs, and then... Uh, for this small section up here, the dormer space or whatever that is, that's four stones plus a log. And then you got the attic thing, which is another couple of logs. And then your first house, you have to build with the thatch roof until you unlock the work, uh, wood shop. The workshop. Oh, no, the wood shed. Excuse me. You need the wood shed because you need to be able to get logs and uh, convert them into planks. Anyway, um, that you need like a log plus, you know, a whole bunch of straw. Okay. Which speaking of, I've got a bunch of that in my pocket. So let's get, I've got these laid out here for a reason. Here's the reason. Because I got a log in my pocket. Remember I mentioned that earlier? And now it's not going to roll anywhere. Ta-da. Uh, I think I also got steak. I got porridge too because I took on the stupid, I made a mistake. I talked to Doby. Uh, Unigos wife oh, are you going to seriously roll away oh, blockhead do it this way if you can remember which way things drop <laughs> that helps too X E F boom there so now that boom done uh, and then we'll throw down the straw here too because I don't want to carry any extra weight on me that I don't need to uh, there X E F boom and there, that's stopped. So now we got all our stuff here. All right. Um, so design of the village. I would recommend you think this through. Now I'm doing my, I do my roads in north, south, east, west because it makes a nice, neat layout. You can put some variety into the layout because I mean they didn't do a whole lot of engineering in this. This, this plopped a house down, and they plopped the next house down, and whatever. Okay, they didn't put a whole lot into it, but um, one something to think about is uh, if you uh, run your roads north, south, east, west, that gives you a layout for your homes because then you just face like when I was building this house to start with, uh, I was facing east, right, facing due east. Boom. So if I want to lay the next house out, I just face east and sidestep right. I'm right along the path. And then I can lay out the next house. 
you know, a little distance from it or whatever minimum distance is or where, wherever I want to put it. And at some point, you need to build your resource storage and your food storage. Well, to me, I now I'm thinking my my town I was playing that you guys didn't see because I did it offline or I kind of showed some parts of it. There was a resource storage on this end of town. Then there's food storage next to it. Then the kitchen's next to food storage. And that makes sense. But to build stuff, I kept having to run down to resource storage and run back to the build site, run down to resource storage and run back to the build site, right? So my thought now is a little bit different. Why not put resource storage and food storage in the middle of the village and build the village out from around that point? That makes sense. Rabbit. Got him. Aim just over his head. Dropped him. Give him my arrow back. Always skin the animals to complete the kill and get full credit for them. Why are you doing this, A train? Uh, because you got to freaking build your skill set. All right. In hunting, that's how you build up your. Um, Skills towards steady hand. All right. We're a two we're a twenty-three of two fifty. This is gonna take a bit. All right. I gotta go hunt some bigger stuff. Rabbits doesn't don't pay you squat. You want steady hand. Ten percent steadier aiming with ranged weapons. Then it goes to like twenty five percent, then it goes to fifty percent. All right. That's what you want. And then eventually strong arm. And then you have lower stamina consumption and lock and load, which is faster drawing and loading of your ranged weapons all right so um the point being if you're going to build the, ha the the town in a linear shape plan on building a resource storage at each end of the town okay if you're going to build uh, otherwise what i think we're going to try on this one is building like a square a town square and we're going to put resource storage in the middle of that square and food storage and we're going to place it the the foundation for a second one then we're going to build paths around it so we know where they'll be and then we can take we can either leave the foundations or take the foundations whatever uh, i don't know if the foundation actually counts against your building count all right am i making sense though because then here's the food storage building and we'll build the kitchen right across the path from it Boom, boom. Because one field, remember, a second uh, food or resource storage building just expands the amount that you can have in storage. You have access to the entire inventory at either building. You don't have to, you know, keep your carrots in one building and then have the onions in the other building, right? They're all in the same inventory. You just have to go in one and access the trunk, all right? So uh, that's what we need to do there. Also, I, I built the fields a little distance away here because, um, oh wait, I do have, I'm looking for the rabbits. I think we're going to lose the rabbits because of where I built, I, I built the village in relation to their spawn point. And if you want to know what I'm talking about there, you hit the map and you go over here and you click this. All right. So now let's zoom in. Yeah, we're going to lose. So here's our house. That's going to kill this uh, eagle spawn point, okay? The field will probably wipe out this rabbit spawn point. This field may well wipe out this moose spawn point, and we may lose the badger spawn point as well. Piggy's going to stick around, though, so we'll, we'll have to deal with them. Notice they're grayed out. That means I've killed all of them in that spawn. There's still rabbits around, um, but all the other stuff is dead, all right? So I need to build a barn somewhere, all right? And I've got just a little bit of distance here, so we've got room to build the village. And eventually, you want to build your farm shed. Oh, man, these aren't lined up exactly. That sucks. That's close. Whatever. Um, you want to build the farm. And actually, it kind of overlapped the path a little bit, but that it won't hurt anything. Yeah, see how it's like this? This brighter part is the part of the path that matters. This gray section at the edge, that doesn't matter. It's the bright part that matters. That's the part that really is the path. Is that section right there. This part over here, 
That's secondary. Okay. So I probably could have gone over another, you know, few inches with that, whatever. And I still could. I could go back and, and reset that uh, off, off my game save. And you just redo everything. And then you guys will never know. When you come back, you'll see it look like a full path. Uh, but we're going to build a barn. And what we're going to want to do is uh, get all the resources together for it. And then um, get them in the position to build. And anywhere you want to build something, make sure you gather all the resources out of that space because then you'll never get them again. I think this is going to be henbane. These plants right here, they're not in season yet. But then you can see broadleaf plantain and morel mushrooms. You don't need that until you're making um, scrambled eggs with mushrooms. Morel mushrooms, that's about the only purpose they have in life. Um, so where do we want to build the barn? Then we're going to want to build the farm shed in like the middle of the fields. And we're going to put the farmer's houses in the middle as well. You want them to have to travel as little distance as possible to get to the farm fields because that's real time. Whereas anybody else, once they check into their building, they're, they're working, they're on the clock. I mean, if you have a miner and there's a mine way over at that central cave, they're on the clock at 8 a.m. until 6 p.m., even if they're walking the entire day. A farmer, though, doesn't start working until they check into the farm shed, get their tools, and then go into the field and they start seeding or tilling or, you know, reaping stuff or whatever. All right. So I'm going to do some thought processing on how we're going to lay out this village. And I'll do that offline and then I'll talk you guys through it when uh, when the time comes. Does that make sense? Cool. Any more rabbits around? Okay. So. Because that's fun and we did a lot, we've done a lot of talking and yakety yak stuff. I mean, where are we inventory wise? 25 kilos is a lot of weight. Let me double click this, double click that to rearm. So we don't need the shovel or wooden hammer. So let's drop that. Let's drop that. Okay, that'll get a lot of weight out of our hands. Now we're down to 22. We're still heavy. Cabbage seed, we're not fussed about. The fur, we are. Drop that. Actually, let's grab that. Let's bundle it up with this fur. Except the stupid log starting to move. Boom. Now it won't go any further than that. All right. We got some fishing spears. We got some tools here. All right. Now we're down to 21 kilos. Why are we still heavy? Leather. There ain't much. Oat ale. Whoa. Where did the oat ale come from? And how come I haven't sold it? That's dumb. Jeez Louise. That's three kilos right there. All right. Well, uh, you know what? We'll probably, what time is it? We'll, we'll come across a village. Maybe we'll go this way. We could check in at Toot Key. All right. So what we haven't done is run the some looting around the... I don't know. I consider this the lake. This is like one of the lakes. I mean, you could say this is a lake. This is a lake. I don't really consider this much of a lake. This area, because you got Central Island, and then this is a lake. You know, whatever. But there's lots of possible looting uh, locations around here. And then there's some up through here on this path. There's some over here going to Rolnica. Um... If we're going to run to Rolnica, though, you know what? Heck with it. I'm not worried about Because I, I accidentally talked to Dobra Nigga's story. Oh, we do have to go to um, Rolnica. Oh, no. I got to talk to Yaro Niwa. And she's over in... Uh, stinking uh, Gustovia. So we'll have to talk to her the next day. All right. So now we're good there. Let's grab some food. Fish meat gives you more food. Uh, all 
There we go. All right. So now for entertainment purposes. Now, notice barrels. Okay. Make sure you're looking for this stuff along the river water's edge. All right. We are going to head on a looting run. Now I'll come back and build the barn because I'll probably redo the field and stuff. So there's no reason for me to build anymore if I'm going to reboot and make sure I have the proper amounts of what. Oh, I don't need to buy any more fertilizer because I technically I know that I can make it. So, yeah, make sure you check along the edge of the water here. We're going to go out and visit that island. Okay. We're looking for sacks or this right here, barrels. Okay. So there's rot. You know what? Uh, that doesn't weigh much. We'll take it. That's almost one full fertilizer. And we get some more rot, which I think I know where some is. That's one free fertilizer. So why not? Uh, there can be dandelions. Remember, again, you're still building your skill set here. You will max out, if you're smart, your survival skill set first. There's usually a crash cart right here with some stuff. And then uh, you run over here, and there's usually a couple of sacks right here, like this. All right, let's see what's in here. Animal feed, we'll take that. And then uh, this has hops. We can sell that. All right, now there's a couple things we could do here. Um, there's five logs sitting up there. We can eventually go collect those. We want to make sure we get them before they disappear. Also, um, there's a coin purse out on this, uh, out here. So we're going to plow through the water. There's a pike spawn right here. We may see them. We found the white-tailed eagle. The pike spawn you'll see is right there next to us, to our right. And pike are big fish, and they give you a nice chunk of meat, but there's only a few of them. But see what's right in front of us here? There's a shovel. Oh, and it's an iron shovel. That's a good shovel. So take that. Right here, take this right stone, 150 coins. Cha-ching! Remember that stone we picked up? Goodbye. All right. So that's why you come out on this island. And do that, I mean, you could do that every season, but, um, you know, it's not going to be there every season. I think it's there maybe about every five or six seasons. All right. So now we're going to come back up to the path here. And we're going to start working our way west. And, gosh, this game gives me the freaking creeps. We're going to run over here to the water's edge, check it. I don't think we're going to find it. Dandelion, give me. Keep building your survival skills, okay? Keep getting the points. There's rocks there. All right, here's berries. These are unripe berries. We won't come back through here, so we don't care that we're taking unripe berries. They do add up from a uh, weight standpoint, so be cognizant of that, okay? But in theory, and if you hit your, your thing here, you can see this bush we haven't cleared yet, okay? All right. In theory, if you just gather a bunch of them and drop them, they will turn to rot, and that will still be sitting there in the next season. So if you look along here, sometimes in the re reeds and stuff, there will be, um, did I bypass the cart? Well, I guess it's here. There's a bird. No, there's no longer a bird now. <laughs> Splat! <laughs> Make sure you have a, a, a knife equipped at all times. All right. All right. So um, hang on two seconds here. Let me go in and actually cut the recording off there. Because I already covered the material for the farming video. Should have cut it off when I finished it. But oh well. I'll do a little editing. All right. We're going to keep our head on a swivel up through here. Because there can be bad guy camps. You're looking for fires. 
campfires. We'll run over here and check the loot. Lost shipments, packages, stuff like that. This is a place where it seem, they seem to appear. Oh, there's a crash cart. So I doubt there's loot right here right now because there's a crash cart. But there could be. You don't ask, you won't get. All right, so let's go see what's at this crash cart. And then there's more berries to gather. And so, oh, that's a deer. Ooh, I saw a movement. All right, yep, creepy time. Uh, okay, look here, here's rot. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to take the rot, which normally we wouldn't, but we'll keep that. Uh, here's a uh, copper spear. That's nice. And here's a torch. Okay, good. That's stuff we can sell. All right. Sometimes there can be a bad guy camp over in here. Okay. And sometimes there will be one up here. So, again, in the dark, we are looking for... Um, A, aha, we're looking for this. We're looking for a campfire. Rye grain, guess what? There's up to amount of stuff we can plant in the fall. All right. Okay, there's the bridge. All right, there can be a bad guy camp close in here or right up here on the left. These trees are about the born boundary of the detection zone. It's typically right here. Although I guess it could be there's a crash cart there too. I don't see anybody coming at us, so. Alright, there's a package. What else we got here? Oh, there's a Oh, shears. Those will sell nicely. Bronze shears. Okay, cool. Wool fabric. Cool. Small bundle. Apples. Sweet. Free food. Best kind. All right, now there's all these berries here too. Unripe berries. So gather this stuff. So, in theory, to do another planting for our village, we have 120 tiles worth of field. So we need 1,200 berries, okay? Uh, what time is it? You know what time it is? 0,400. What's the O stand for? Oh, my God, it's early. All right, we're going to jog this way. We're going to head like we're going to Rolnica because we want to look for... And I'm not too fussed if we run into trouble because I am well-equipped. All right, River's Edge, look for stuff. Sacks, excuse me, things laying around. Okay. Cross the bridge towards Rolnica. What's going on up here? Well, there's an abandoned campsite right over there, and there's wolves in the area. All right? So you need to be prepared to deal with that. There's also tons of daisies and dandelions. Now, people will build in this area, but notice all you got are freaking um, birch trees. That's only two logs per. I'm not a fan. Okay, this is where, there's the camp right there. All right, cool. Question is, I don't have IFF yet. So I can't see animals. So I gotta be very quiet. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. There's bugs too. There's crap sitting around. Make sure you check everything. All right. Firewood we do not need. So there's a barrel. There's a cap and a coif. This is money because I don't wear either one of those. There's the wolves. Full see. Boom. Joined hose. Boom. 460. Don't need that. Sack. Salted meat. Free food. Best kind. There's that junk. There's that. That's a cudgel. 
We take that, we'll sell it. Look in the tents. Dump loot. Apple tree seedlings. Cha-ching! You could sell those if you want. I would plant them. Hello. Thank you. For you too. All right, we've got plenty. Those sell for a lot. Okay? But they also co also cost a lot. Anytime you get tree stuff, and we're going to want to plant those here in the spring, um, we'll do our setup. There's a simple torch. Okay, whatever. Be mindful of stuff. On oh, now that's worth money. Boots, and there's money. There's a flat straw hat. Sweet. There's 65 coins. All right. We in the money. We're in the money. All right. We can put on the cap. Or we can put on the coif, which looks dumb. Or we can put on the flat straw hat, which looks stylish. Much cooler. All right. Each one has different properties as far as this is plus 15 heat protection. So this keeps you cooler in the summer. It'll do a little bit to help you in the winter, but you've got better options. Now the coif will do more to help you, well, a little bit in the in the the winter. And it really doesn't help you in the summer. The cap does better in the winter, but you don't want to wear it in the summer. So keep a cap around. That's that's probably a good idea. All right. So the wolves are right over here. We should have detected, and then there's rabbits too. Yeah, see how there's a wolf here and there's rabbits here? These two interact. And the wolves attack the rabbits. Well, that's why I kill the wolves. I don't like them jacking with the rabbits. I mean, I know that's the natural order of things, but, you know, whatever. Damn it, I missed him. Damn it, I missed him again. Didn't miss him that time. What an idiot. Hey, Train, why didn't you get the crossbow? That's a fine question. <clears throat> I don't know. I thought I'd do something a little different and go with the longbow instead. We'll probably upgrade to the crossbow later. But now, the key is with these wolves, this will start running up uh wait that's extraction doofus <clears throat> this will start running up our points here bunnies will not do anything for you wolves are better kill moose are a bit bigger the animal the more points here's another wolf over here oh he's after a rabbit see he just killed a rabbit Now, why am I maneuvering? Because I don't know where he's coming from. He just killed a rabbit, though. And there he is. Oh, there you are. Oh, hello. Hi. Eat that. Snapper head. Use your head. Snap ahead. Notice I, ta I, I performed a tactical retreat there. All right. He charged me quicker. I, he didn't turn and look and growl at me before charging. He immediately charged. I tried to get the shot off, which was dumb. Immediately go your best melee weapon. And where's my arrow? Give me my arrow back. Should be another arrow over here that. No? Alright. There's. Oh, there's another wolf out here somewhere. There may be two. Sweet. You know what that means? That's two more to kill. Alright, so if I look at the map, see, it's still white. That means there's more out here somewhere. So the question is where? There's one right there. It's best if you're in wolf territory, identify the threat. Okay, this is really anything. Find it because then you can operate with that advantage. You can see them before they detect you. Now, there's a badger. 
Which way am I looking? There's a wolf. Hey, knucklehead. Snarl at me, please. Stop, drop, and roll, foo. This is going to make us happy. We'll just run up to Rolnica and sell the stuff. Not a big deal. Uh, really, I should have actually... There's a deer there. I might as well... Dr well, let's check our um, inventory. We're getting a little close on weight. We want to be able to stay mobile and agile and hostile. So we hit map. All right, look, we've killed the wolves off. Done. Sweet. So actually, we will go after a deer. Because again, we're trying to build our hunting skill. So we can get the IFF system. Right in the neck. Aim for the head. A neck shot will do. Doe a deer, a dead female deer. Okay, that's going to put us pretty close on weight here. Um, and, you know, while we're here, again, berries. See how it's 192? All right. There's 200 berries. All right, let's see where we are on weight. 64 um, unripe berries, 210 kilos. All right. So we could we could keep stacking on a little bit, but we've got plenty of opportunity to deal with that. Now, it is morning of day five. So in case you don't know where we are for this camp, and we'll take one last glance around in case there's anything over here I might have missed. There is something I missed right here. Bronze spear, cha-ching. That made us overweight. That's okay. I ain't fussed about it. Um, and there's stuff all along the waterfront that you can find. But also, we're hungry. So we can actually balance out. Is there anything else? Where is this camp? It's right to, it's, it's just to the left of the road from the bridge to Rolnica. All right, here's where we are. All right, that's it right there. That's the camp. Put it right there. All right, so you're coming across the Rolnica. And so we avoided the wolves. You just stay along the river's edge. And you come just past this um, white-tailed eagle spawn. And that's where, if it's here, you'll see it. Hear the eagle? Where eagles fly. Bum 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 Sunday morning, nine a.m. I heard eagles cry. I felt my heart pound in my chest. Oh, I've already messed up the words. Anyway, uh, now, if you come up the path to, towards Rolnica, there's eh, a lot of times there's a wrecked cart right up here on the right. But, mind you, this isn't, it's typically right here. There, It's in range of the wolves. So be aware of that. Okay, they can get to you. All right. Now, uh, what else can we do? I actually want to head towards Tootkey. So we're going to spend day five. Oh, you know what? I'm going to be resetting this. Uh, no, I'll probably just rebuild the field going into f from fall into winter. That would be easier. So we're not going to goof around with that. Oh, it would be good if I went ahead and healed too. Oh, look, there's some broadleaf plantain here. Give me that. And some Dan the Lion. And some more Dan the Lion. And some more Broadleaf Plantain. And some Daisies. Okay. Let's heal up real quick here. We'll, uh, we'll use the Daisies. 84. Boom. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, I got the math exact 
we don't have the math exactly right. All right, lots of stuff down that way. Can be. Let's check the river's edge because sometimes there's stuff over here. Free stuff is the best kind. I don't see anything. Sometimes it helps to get a little higher up. Sometimes you can just. I mean, you can you can spend a couple of days running the map. That's why I think it's it's dumb to not give yourself a couple of three, four, five days of a season. Why not collect all the free stuff you can? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, we've actually completed the loop here because we came up this way and we went that way. Because that goes to Denica. We're going to go to Tootkey, which is this way. And again, be mindful. That spot right there, that dirty spot, that's a campsite for bad guys. So you got to watch out for them. Uh, now, as we cross the river, we should get some freebies here. Be swell if we encountered bad guys, because I'd like to kill some people. Um, sometimes you can find a bucket and a fishing spear and maybe some dried fish right here, or some kind of fish stuff. We need to go to Toot Key so we can sell some stuff. Now, there are potential spawns or camps in this area. Like right there, I think, is one. So just be mindful. Aha! This will be good. So here's some logs. Now, if you want to save these for later, here's what I'm going to do. Get them out of the spawn point. Okay? You don't need... That's a, oh, that's a stone axe. Okay. So we're going to take them over here. My badger just dropped in out of, the, out of the sky. And then we're going to drop it over here. Okay? We're overweight. Okay? Drop that, and then we'll sell the uh, axe. Because that's El Cheapo. This is the fun little thing you want to look for, because you'll get... You can get logs, but typically you'll get an axe out of the deal. All right? Um, <laughs> oh, this way. Stay on target. Oh, here's a crash cart. And another log. Okay. And there's a plank, which we're overweight, so we really can't use that right now. We can go stack it with the other building supplies. Let's see what's in this bundle. Oh, there's 56 coins. Take that. Uh, yeah, we may well come back and collect this stuff. Badger? I don't need no stinking badger. Hold still. Thank you. Yeah, it's a little more meat that we just harvested. And we're getting a little more overweight. So, yeah, we want to be mindful of that. So let's go on up here to Tutki. So we can sell some stuffs. Again. Keep an eye. I think that might be a potential spawn site or campsite there. It is getting close to the village. Uh, but I've seen a campsite very close to Denica. And it was an up-armored campsite. What does that mean, A-Train? It they had pikes. Uh, here's another thing we can do real quick. Is This is the other island. And see that trunk right there? I think that's a trunk. Did you walk in, in the water drink? Is that a trunk or a cart? I thought they all... Oh, no, it is a trunk over here. Yeah, so that was visible from a distance. Grab the wooden shovel. Check the chest. Oh, lots of stuffs. Cha-ching, bada-bing. Po two potions of health and a torch. Now, over there... This is So there's uh, Rolnik up on the hill. Over there, there are clay pits and... You'll find a uh, shovel and some loose clay in there if you want some more free stuff. We don't want more free stuff at this point. We want to sell. Sell, sell, sell. Because we're moving slow. Archer, howdy, howdy, Nicholas. Say, hey, what's happening, guys? Uh, happy early Monday morning. <laughs> it's after midnight. I'm doing a late night post-Texas Rangers game one victory in the American League Championship Series for baseball. Uh, and we, we talked about farming earlier. 
There's an Uber. We could use him to get wherever we need to go, but that's also money spent. All right, so now look in the village. There's a lady who's selling stuff. Here's where you get your donkeys. Okay, so we'll come talk to her, Amanda. Can you come on? Hello, best goods in the valley. Best goods in the valley. Blockhead. 1,442 coins. You know what? I don't need animal feed anytime soon. Take that. Take these boots. Don't need scissors. Don't need bronze spear. Uh, I'm going to hold the cap. Take the coif. Don't need a copper spear. Don't need a cudgel. We do not need feathers. We do not need... That's a lot of fur, but that's a lot of weight, too. Uh, no, we're going to ditch the fur. Don't need hops. Uh, we're keeping our arrow, iron shovel. You know what? Eh, you know what? That's a 52%. Hmm. I don't know if I want to lug that around or not. For now, I think I'll take the money for it. 130 coins. Cool. Uh, joined hose we don't need. Boom. Get rid of that. Leather. Uh, that's a small bag. We'll, we'll craft that. Uh, we can sell some of this meat because we have plenty of meat on us. We have salted meat, we have roasted meat, we have apples. So let's sell the meat. That's another hundred something coins. Oat ale. Goodbye. We're cleaning her out. All right, what a deal. Uh, oh, I said we're cleaning her out. We didn't sell anything. <laughs> She still got 61. Porridge, uh, we can eat. Potion of health, we could sell. Uh, I would rather sell her the simple torch. Boom. Do I have a quest to deliver oat ale? That may be later in the game. I don't know when that is. All right, let's ditch this torch. Let's ditch this torch. This will be our new torch. Water skin, we'll hold on to that. Wheat, we're holding on to that. Wood shovel, ditch that. Wolf fabric. Uh, she can't buy it anyway. All right, we've cleaned her out. Now we're up to almost uh, 2,000 coins. Have a good day. Have a good day. And now we got diplomacy. Sweet. All right. Diplomacy is a hard one to build, but I'm going to show you here in a second uh, a way to start building it. So let's double click here. Diplomacy knowledge. Uh, now, tier one, you got to do one point. Diplomat, 20% more dynasty reputation points gained. I wouldn't worry about that. Romeo. 10% more affection points gained when flirting. I wouldn't worry about that either. Just flirt a lot. Diplomacy knowledge, though, 5% more experience gained from dipl diplomacy activities, which includes flirting, and it includes selling and buying stuff. Okay? So we're going to just go with that. Now, Tier 2, you know, I was unlocking em Empathy, and it says revealing NPC personalities during conversations. MP and in this case, the NPCs, it's the women. But I also know what the questions and answers are to tell you what the personality is. So I really don't need that. So your tier two skill should be barter. So when you get your second diplomacy point, make sure you put a point in barter. Okay. Because that's, that, that's going to help. And you probably could put both of them in there. Okay. All right. So let's look up here. So we got some, uh, well, excuse me. Walked right into me, lady. So there's somebody sitting here, and she is available to recruit, all right? But she's also available to flirt with. Let's put our bow down. All right, so let's talk to her. I'll show you this process. How can I help you? How can I help you? All right, we're going to small talk, okay? This is going to help us determine what her personality type is, which then helps you with flirting, Okay. Uh, can you tell me something about your skills? Walkers like me have an eye for finding best spots for fishing or finding mushrooms, which means she's good at survival skills. Okay. And that's the only answer we're getting. All right. Does anything give you a hard time? A hothead who's not good at tinkering, which means she doesn't, uh, she's not good in production. All right. So let's back out. Have Hit farewell. Day. We're going to hold down the alt key and look at her. See the one in production and the three in survival. That's what she just told us. So now, let's go back okay. in this. Um, so this is for her skills. Let's go to romance. 
you seem very interesting. Can I ask you something? Okay. Now, do you, uh, favorite color is kind of dumb. Biggest dream, eh. This will tell you if they're romantic. Work can often, what do you do in our spare skin, spare time? This will tell you if she's a busy bee. Since drinking is not a hobby, young lady, I would have to go with fooling around in every meaning of it. She is a um, free spirit. There's four personality types for the women. The snob, who will tell you that they're like the greatest thing since sliced bread. There's the free spirit, who is always talking about drinking and sex. The busy bee is always talking about work. And no, you don't have free time. And the romantic's always talking about love. That's how you know what the See you soon. person's, uh, what the, the woman's personality is. Oh, actually, let's... Hello. Uh, let's see if we can really answer some more. You seem very, can I ask you something? All right. So we've already figured out that she is a um, free spirit. It would have to be a wolf, strong, fast, and agile, majestic, but deadly. It's also, but it's, all, it's still basically a doggy. So it must love belly rubs like me. Okay. Hint, hint. She likes belly rubs. Okay. What's your favorite season? Today is pretty tiresome. How's your day going? What's your favorite season of the year? Winter, no doubt. No stupid farming animals are easier to track, and you never have to drink a warm beer. She is a free spirit. All right, you, you picking up on laying down here? That's how you know what she is. All right, she needs time. So we built some affection with her, so that's fine. Goodbye. All right, which doesn't matter. Except that that builds our diplomacy skills. All right. So we build 17 points there. Okay. So somewhere over here, that's her. There's another person that buys stuff and this, he's out here. Yeah, he's in the hunting shack. Now, this is the dude, Walrad. You'll come see him eventually. Doink. All right. So you come in here and you come talk to this guy. Greetings. Stranger, yeah, show I've me been yours. a vendor since before you could walk. Okay, well, have a cookie, dude. Not impressed. Uh, sell him the oat ale. Boom, boom, boom. Potion of health. We'll sell those. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, simple bags were good. Torch, that's a good torch. We're keeping that. And the wool fabric, we'll sell him that. Okay, so we just made a bunch of money. So we, had, we only had like a couple hundred coins, and now we've got... You know, 2,000. Plus, we got Take stuff that's worth care. money. All right. So, let's go in our inventory. Let's go ahead and re-equip this torch. And we'll consolidate our arrows. So, we're going to double-click on that. It takes them out of your inventory. Double-click on it again. Puts it back in your inventory. If they're not in your inventory, you ain't shooting nothing. All right. <laughs> Pretty simple. Um, which way do we go? We're going to head left where are we at time wise I want to get through this section before dark so we're heading towards Branica now All right, we just left Tukki we're heading towards Branica uh, if you go left off this path you will run into wolf territory All right, so just be mindful of that there's lynxies up here You don't I don't mess with lynx I don't mess with foxes, foxes especially, because they're cute, and they make cute noises. Now, we're at this divider in the path. Where are we on the map? Here's where we are. We're almost to Branica. okay? Now, if you go to Branica, you'll find um, barrels over here by the creek, and then you get the North Cave, which we could go check out. It's kind of early enough in the day to do that. I want to go down this way, though. Because then that takes us back to basically where we got to. Then I want to check along the river's edge. There's potential campsites at several places along here. There's potential uh, traveler's camp over here. But there could be bad guys up the north uh, cave too. So if you go right here, you'll see there's a crash cart. Okay. Small bundle. There's some meat. Okay, cool. We can make a campfire and take that. There's some uh, fur. We can get that. And there's some fur or wool. Great. All right. So there's that. I don't see anything else. Okay. Now, this is the path going south. All right? Pay attention here because there will be a quiz. 
right up here. Let me see where they are. There they are. Wooden deer, wooden bear. Okay, grab those. Hold on to them. You'll give them to your kid eventually. All right, we're going to come over the rise here. We spotted a hawk. We spotted a, spotted a rabbit. What we're looking for is a campsite here on the left. And there is a campsite. Now, what we're also looking for is Tatanka. We spotted a moose. We spotted a wizard. But the wizard are not close. Okay, grab the simple torch. There's another flat straw hat. That's a nice coin. Grab that. We don't need the firewood. Just keep an eye out for the wizard. He's right there. Okay. They 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 don't have great uh, potion of weight. Okay, that's cool. That's good to use when you're mining. Okay. Um, there should be something else around here somewhere. This seems a little light. We're not going to mess with Bullwinkle because we do not want to attract. The wizard can outrun you and will knock you in the next week. All right. So Bullwinkle and friends are okay for now. We're not going to mess with them. All right. So we're back over to the path. We actually ought to be out of range to Bullwinkle. Sister took off there. Um, here's where we are. We're halfway down this path. See the rabbit spawn? Boom. That's where this camp is. Right here. We're going to go look over here for a trunk. You know what? We're going to shoot. Give me. It's going to take two shots. Damn it. I missed. Damn it. I missed again. Go. Now, that moose is going to the perimeter of its spawn. And see, it's at full stride. So. Nope. We're done. All right. Let me see if I can recover weapons. That was, I was horrible. I missed that first shot. You've got to hit them to slow them down. There's one. I'll get the pigs over here. Damn it. I don't think I stuck it because... It wouldn't have been able to run full speed if I hit it. All right. Somewhere. Over here. I think right in this area. Yeah, it's right off the path. So it's close. You'll find a trunk. There's a deer. Boom. Right in the face. Where's the piggy? See, we don't have IFF yet. There's a piggy. Is that a piggy? That's a buck. Well, there's another doe. Oh, she moved. All right. Because uh, I, I, I don't mind hunting piggies. All right. There's a moose. Damn, she turned away. All right, the only reason why I'm going to second thought that and back down is because, is there not a freaking, yeah, there's piggy spawn right there. How are we on weight? 40 kilos. So we could pick up some meat. A couple of piggy spawn sites up here. Piggy, there's one. There's one. Come right to us. Is 
got to be careful. You want to make sure that they're... Um, always put yourself in a safe position to do your, you know, skinning. Hey, fat boy. Hello? 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 Fine. Be that way. Ignore me at your own risk. Now, see, he's almost down here at the path. All right, because there's those logs we dropped. Remember that a few minutes ago? Yeah, I do. I was here when we did it. Um, so we could collect those, but we moved them off of the spawn point, so they should stay there in perpetuity. Now, here's what we're going to do. So now we're going to patrol along the lakeside. There can be a fishing camp right here, and this is a big time deal. All right, if this fishing camp's here, you're in the money. Uh, there will be a barrel, there will be fishing spears, there will be stuffs, all right, all kinds of cool crap. So it's definitely something you want to look for. And you know what, Let's, we're probably pretty stinky, 20% stinky. I don't like being stinky. All right, so now we go back and look and see if we get 0% stinkiness now, okay? Uh, anyway, yeah, this is definitely a place to, to be looking for. And then we'll just quickly take a glance along, see maybe if there's a spawn point somewhere. Of course, there's a dandelion. Remember, you're always building, until you max it out, you're always building your survival skills. So grab stuff that you can work with. All right, so now we're going to break east. There's got to be a bad guy camp somewhere along here. Now, I'm going to show you one that's, one potential site that's a trick. All right, notice where we are on the path. Notice it's higher ground on the left, all right? This can cause problems right over this rise, all right? Oh, hello, hello. there's a cart. What do we got? Potion of instant healing, cha-ching. Free money, clay jug, and a copper sickle, thank you. Please drive through. All right, anything else? Oh, another hat. All right, it's hat day. That's nice money. All right, over this rise right here. See how see how the path is down and there's a it's it's defilade from this rise. There's a problem because bad guys will set up a camp up on this rise, and you'll come trucking along through here and not know they're there. You won't see them because you're not looking for them. All right, and then you'll run out of steam. Because the hell are oh, those are rocks? You'll run out of steam because you know you've been trucking along at top speed after the ice cream man, and then you'll slow down. Next thing you know, club, dude smacks you in the back of the head with a cudgel, and you're like, "What in the ass just happened?" Well, that's what happened. All right. <laughs> how how do you know such a specific story, A Train? Hmm, because it happened to me. <laughs> And I think more than once, all right? And in some cases, you're just, you're not paying attention, all right? Now, notice, if you are coming from the east, there's the site. You would see it, all right? But if you're coming from the west, look at all this crap that's in the way that obscures, and see how low the ground is right here? You have no vision of the site whatsoever. So... Next thing you know, the bad guys are triggered. They're chasing you. You run out of gas about right here, and whack! Dude smacks you in the back of the head. All right? So be aware, anytime you're coming along this, this, uh, this path here on the north side of the, of the river, uh, that that can happen. Uh, let's have something to eat here real quick. Um, <laughs> some dried fish meat. We're going to actually eat... We got a bunch of meat to dispose of too. Oh crap. We got a bunch of meat to dispose of. And then oh, you know that porridge will help. Um Okay, that'll do. We got meat to cook. We'll just need to buy the uh scheme for the firewood. Alright. Now we're venturing up. See how we just picked up a boar spawn? There's Piggy right there. Kind of looking this way. I hear you. What's up, dude? Smile. 
in your face. There's uh, clay pits up here. These guys kind of guard these clay pits. So you can, uh, if you build over on this side of the, uh, the river, and let me show you where we are. We're on the north side. It's just, we're due south of, of Branica. Okay. So here's the piggy spawn and the clay pits like right over here. Uh, let's get back down to the path though. We're getting kind of scope creep and it's getting dark. And if we find the traveler's camp, which would be swell, I want to be able to engage them in the day. Where's the Traveler's Camp A Train? Well, if it's there, if you guys watched my old video Bandit Ridge fight, you'll know. It's right up on the hill up yonder. You go follow the creek and you'll get there. Let's run down here and check Water's Edge. I don't see any barrels. I don't see any sacks. I don't see any loot. All right. Let's make tracks. Get over to the creek. And then we'll follow the creek up towards Branica. We, I don't know if we're going to get there in time to sell anything. But here we are. Here's the, here's the creek. Now, um, I don't think there's ever any sacks or anything along here. We also need to loop back around. All right. Scope creep. All right. So we're going to proceed north along the creek here. What are we looking for? A trunk. And where we are, that trunk should be up here just ahead of us. And I think we may not have it. So I think we passed. Whoa. Okay. Oh, it would be great if these guys were here. I feel like kicking someone's butt. Oh, there's the trunk right there. Okay, cool. There's been a snake in the bed. Bronze bars and coins. Hey. Cha-ching, bada-bing. Awesome. So now, there's the place we're looking for. I want to get a tactical position to the north. So we're going to run this way, a little northwest. We're kind of just south of Branica. We're, east, we're west. There's Baranica up over that ridge. Okay. So we're going to come up over here. We make sure that we are at full song on our... Hello? Hello? Keep moving. This is the spot. Yep. This is where the traveler's camp will spawn. Okay. Right in here. And uh, there were five dudes when I came across it. So go back on my channel and I uh, appreciate you being here. Hope you'll like, share, and subscribe. Um, go back and watch the Bandit Ridge fight. So what you do is retreat, or you can retreat across the bridge there. And then you can, they'll, they'll come across the river, but then they'll stop at a certain point. And once you establish, you know, the range that they can work with, you just shoot them. All right, so now we're going to work up towards the North Cave, which is right there. And there's the barrels right there. Doesn't look like there's any bad guys. And then these barrels here. You pick up all the stuff. Nope. Nope. Yep. Nope. Nothing there. Okay. Uh, let's go see if it, I don't think there's anything in the mouth of the cave. I don't see it. But yeah, if there's bad guys here, you'll know it because there'll be pikes here. And there'll be like one dude with a crossbow and then three thugs. And you got to retreat down, get defilade. So what does defilade mean, A train? When they can't see you because you're below their position. Actually, I think that's enfilade. But if you get back down here, the dude, the, the range dude can't shoot you and you can back off out of the range of the melee guys and you can hit them or you can shoot them in the face or whatever. Okay. And then when you're dealing with the crossbow dude, all right, 
there's two ways to do it. You can move up and Leroy Jenkins him straight straight ahead. I'd say get the tree between you and him and then be prepared to exchange fire, shoot him. Otherwise, arc to round, arch, arc, arc around to the right out of his range and then do the Leroy Jenkins. That's how I took him out. So I came up over the side here. Leroy Jenkins, clunk, boom, <laughs> whacked him. And he was dead. But I did just see a bird nest. Hello? Cool. All right. Well, that was nice. Now, I would highly recommend you build a storage facility right here. Okay? And it's a pain in the butt because you don't have too many trees. You, there, there's a maple, mostly birch. Again, this is my problem with building anything where there's birch. Okay? And you need a lot of logs to build a, res uh, a resource storage building. But this is where you want to build one. First off, it then kills the bad guy spawn here. But what it also does is allow you to keep um, picks of pickaxes of various types, whatever, you know, stone or whatever. And then you run in and you just shuttle in and you mine. You run in the mine, you do your mining, okay? Get your copper, get your tin ore, okay? get stone uh, and then salt okay gather that stuff and once you're loaded up you run out here and you go put it in resource storage and then you run back in and you repeat the process and actually the smart way to do it is when you use the the, the pickaxe on the resources okay you'll get stones so you won't just get copper here and you won't just get tin here and you won't just get stone here you'll get i mean salt you'll get some you'll get two or three and then you'll get like seven stones which is seven kilograms so it weighs you down very quickly so what you do is you do your mining and then once you're maxed out and weight you pick a spot on the floor and drop all the stone right there and then you continue mining because then you'll be back under weight and you do that until your weight's maxed out but you're carrying ore and crap so then i mean it doesn't matter necessarily if if you've if you're going to shuttle all the stone out and I recommend you shuttle the stone out as well, because then you have all that stone available to build in your village. Does that make sense? If you have a resource storage building here and you have a resource storage building in your village, wherever the hell you build that, whatever you put in it here is going to appear on the inventory there. Now I don't agree with that system, but that's the way it is. All right. And if it ain't breaking the rules, then you're not cheating. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that just makes it much more efficient each season come up here and spend half a day clearing out the mine dump all that crap in your resource storage building that you build right here all right go sell stuff whatever go recruit go flirt with chicks over in Branica and Baranica and um, in fact we may get lucky one there's I think there's two vendors here this is um, Branica which is where you'll find one of the two seamstresses uh, Matilda's the other and she's in Denica. Actually, there's three. There's one in uh, hey, Uber. What's up? Um, uh, there's one in Hornica as well. So the night watchman may be out. See Bogdan? See the bag next to his name? So that means he can buy stuff. So we can offload some more. Wait, what's up? A newcomer. Hello there. Best goods in the valley. Oh, swell. Except your stuff sucks. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to it. Don't need a clay jug. Copper ore, we got a tin ore. That one of each will make a bronze bar, which would give us, I do not need the iron ore. You can't do anything with iron for a long time. Uh, the leather's just weighing us down. Let's get rid of that. Potion of instant healing. Now this is plus 20 health, but you've got to be in a position to use it. So if you wind up in a combat situation, you have to retreat out of range to use this, but it'll heal 20 points. I don't fuss with that too much. All right. So, um, um, that's, that's why I've got like, you know, a hundred broadleaf plantain. All right. Otherwise, and the potion of weight, again, if you're going to mine, it's good to have potion of weight on you. 
all right, because that adds extra 20 kilograms. So in adding weight or in upping your, your base weight, which is 35 kilograms, right? You want to go to either Denica or Branica, get the uh, large pouch, which gives you plus 10 kilos, and the simple large backpack, which gives you another plus 20, then you're up to 65. Then in your, um, oh wait, sorry dude. My wares never disappoint. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna make stone sickles. I would rather have the money. Hey, must be the money. I'm gonna ditch this and eggs. We don't need F and F. Feather, Mr. Feather, deer skull, we don't need that. All right, we got three flat straw hats. I only got one head. Boom. Uh, fur, we don't need that. We'll keep all that. Keep all that. Meat, we need to cook some of it. Our rot, we're taking back so we can make a little bit of, well, we can make one stinking fertilizer. It's not worth anything. Salt, uh, we'll sell that. Salted meat keeps longer, but it also dehydrates you when you consume it. See down here? Plus seven food. Minus two water. So, uh, simple torch. Bye bye. Uh, the figurine will keep. Uh, the wooden bowl will sell, and the wool will sell. So, and the tin horn will sell. Uh, simple bags. We kept all those on us. We could sell those, but yeah, we'll hold on. All right. We just need to cook the meat. We do have the apples, and we may have enough. We may be good to get See back soon. home. All right, I was saying something, and now I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, uh, oh, yes. So you want to get the large pouch, simple large backpack. Then in skills, in extraction, mule. Five kilo increase for tier one, 10 kilo increase for tier two, 15 kilo increase for tier three, and that's your maximum carrying capacity is 80 kilograms unless... You take a potion of weight then you can carry 100 kilograms so if you're going and clearing out the mine that's the way to do it money for nothing and your chicks for free all right now let's see oh chick speaking of chicks kunigunda i like kunigunda i wouldn't recruit her because she's only got one three now amelia has two threes two ones and two twos so she's average if you needed a farmer or a survival expert she's she's the one you'd pick Kunigunda is a production specialist, and that's it. But for now, we're going to build her diplomacy skills. So hey let's there. let's go through this. We're not worried about the, her skill set. So we're going to go straight to romance. All right? You seem very interesting. Can I ask you something? Now, what's your biggest dream? Do you have a favorite color? That one's a little tricky. I haven't figured that out yet. Work can get out of her skin. Okay. This one's a good one. This will tell you if she's a busy bee. I enjoy picking flowers very much. It allows me to relax and connect with nature. The only problem is I only I have no one to do it with. She's a romantic. Okay? How do you know this, A train? I'm always eager to learn new things. Do you have any advice? Last night I had this weird dream. Damn, he's hungry again. Very unusual. All right, that's kind of a free spirit question. Uh, today's pretty tiresome for me, but fruitful nevertheless. How's your day going? That's something that's going to set up for a busy bee. Be kind to people and you'll betray the same way. It turns simple as that and um, keep your heart open. She's a romantic. Now we're at 10% affection. Once you get to 25, and uh, it should tell you what, what she is, all right? Um, what's your favorite season of the year? It's probably going to be spring. Where do you come from? Tell me about your birthplace. All right, so let's go with the favorite season. Spring, the most magical of seasons. The entire world is waking up from his slumber. It may sound silly, but it feels like love. She is a romantic. All right. So once you go through this enough, she needs to. OK, that's fine. We got 15 percent on her. So that's cool. All right. So let's talk to Amelia. How is life treating you? All right. Let's romance her. Now, you seem very interested in me. I ask you a question. <sighs> Don't make fun of me. Favorite animals. Always chicken. This is a free spirit. It would have to be the wolf. Strong, fast and agile, magical, majestic, but deadly. It's still basically a doggy. So it must love belly rubs like me. She's a free spirit. Free spirits like booze and sex. Romantics like love. Busy bees like work. And the um, snobs 
like to talk about themselves. All right? That's how you know. What brought you here? Destiny, of course. That was the nickname of a big guy I owed some money to. Really big. Not too keen on forgiving others either. His kid had some real musical talent, though. Okay? Get it? Destiny child. I just figured that out. I had not put that together until just now. So you guys were here to hear when A-Train figured out Destiny's Child is the reference there. <laughs> that was funny. Come on, guys. Give me some likes for that. Give me some love for that one, gang. Did you catch that? Did you know that? Uh, okay. Let me know if you did, but I don't think so. All right. Um, so we figured out she's uh, she is a free spirit. Okay. Had an amazing impression on me. Afraid of heights. Do you have a favorite color? Mine's brown. Uh, what is your biggest fear? Okay. Scares me is my core to my core is responsibilities. Free spirits, drink, sex, don't want to do anything otherwise. Okay. And let's see if oh, we're gonna get one more question. Working under your skin. All right, here we go. This is she's going to talk about drinking. Oh, fooling around. No, yeah, there it is. Drinking is not a hobby, young lady. I would have to go with fooling around in every meaning of it. Ha 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 ha. Okay. That's how you know she's a free spirit. All right. So you guys learn it. This is how you converse with them. And then I guess we're only going to get 15%. All right. So that's helped our diplomacy okay. skills. And now you've learned how some of these questions work. There's, you don't, I don't think you run into a lot of snobs in the valley. All right. So diplomacy now we're at 46. So three conversations has gotten us 46 points. All right. So now... What do we want to do? We Oh, I know what we want to do. I know what we want to do today, Ferb. All right, so we've made the loop here. So we came across the south side of the river. We went up to Rolnica. We found the camp over there. We got a whole bunch of crap. Uh, went to Rolnica. No, we didn't go to Rolnica. We came back out. We went to Tootkey. Did some tooting. Went up here. Found the, the stuff. Found the camp over here. Got some stuff. Came down here. Came along here. Uh, we came over here to the, the creek, went up the creek. This is where you find the uh, the trunk, and the bad guy camp will spawn here. Went up here to the North Cave, got the stuff here. We're in Branica. Uh, what time is it? It's 0100. Uh, so we're not going to get a whole lot out of this. So I think we're going to backtrack our way back down the creek, target this intersection, and then head back towards the village. And that's going to complete our runabout. Weapons up. Let's pop in the creek real quick and we'll grab us a drink. So that's another pop culture reference that the devs have thrown into the questions and discussion. That's hilarious. Destiny's Child. I get it. I like it. Um, at some point, you may see a dude sitting around the fire. Uh, who is a hunter and a good shot and he'll say that's why my friends call me hawkeye uh, <laughs> all right i got a picture of him because i found that was funny all right so uh bandit ridge or this is bandit ridge so that camp is right up there what you can do is you can run back up the hill to about here ish and they'll stop and you can just shoot them in the face or shoot them in the head whatever you want to do you know because fair fights are dumb, all right? Understand that? If you fight fair, you're an idiot. The way to win a fight is is tip the, s the scales in your favor as much as possible. All right, that's, that's reality 101 for life. Clay pits are over there. So if you build on this side of the uh, river, and I mean, this area here, there's some uh, St. John's wort. This uh, is going to be thistle, I think. It's got too many branches for henbane. All right, so we're going to come back down to the intersection here. Make sure we're not in a compromised position. Hello? Go. Go, hoser. Come up here to this intersection. There should be a camp. I mean, not a camp, a cart. We're going to stick our head up over this hill here, though. Two potential campsites here and here. Okay. 
I don't see a campfire. That's what you're looking for, especially at night. The if you see anything orange, that's a hint and a half of your ass. There are bad guys, right? So that's what to look for. There should be a crash cart right here, but it doesn't look like there is. All right, you'll find a crash cart right here. All right, and then in winter time, winter camp is over through there. There's a Tatanka uh, spawn point. See, here's a campsite right here. And again, it's defilade. So it's in low. It's in a low area. It's in a dell. No, not the singer. It's in a dell. If you remember Band of Brothers, we're in a dell. Yeah, and then the Germans saw the smoke or the fire and they started mortaring them. All right. Um, up there are Tatanka. Wizent. I don't think I've triggered him yet, so let's let's go ahead and just jog up there and we'll trigger him. Here's the path. Wizent, okay? That opening right up through there, that's where the winter camp appears. It's not there necessarily every winter, and that's going to be your chance to go up and uh, learn how to kill bison, buffalo, tatanka, all right? Go up there and bust it ace, all right? The second campsite's right here, here. I think it's right here. This kind of seems kind of dark. So there's two potential campsites right here along this path. And again, they're in a position where you will not see them as you approach. So you got to kind of be paying attention. See, if that fire is there, it's going to be in a dell. And you're not going to see it. And next thing you know, some dude's going to jump you from behind and smack you in the head. All right. Uh, remember, there's barrels over here. Let me make sure we cleared these out. Yep, we got them. All right, so that's that part of the equation. And then these are good berry bushes to go ahead and collect from. Let's go ahead and pick up some more berries. Because remember, you want literally hundreds and hundreds of unripe berries to start your um, fertilizer collection for summer. Steak, I don't need the steak. I'm just holding the E key down and moving from berries to berries. And then there's a couple of uh, things of uh, berry bushes over by where we're building the village. Those I'll wait and I'll get those as ripe berries. You want to keep ripe berries available too because that's where you start collecting for fall fertilizer. And that's something you also want to put... Um, not that you want to do the, um, whatchamacallit, shack, shackalaka. Birch tree. Birch trees suck. Great plywood. Jillian, hello. Welcome aboard. Hey, thanks. It's very kind of you to say. It's very kind. Thank you. Very nice. Um, if I hold the alt key down, I can see if I've missed any, which... There's all another cluster over here. Now, again, you'll start stacking up these berries and they are heavy. There's that word again, heavy. There's just something wrong with the Earth's gravitational pull in the future. See, we got 373, so let's collect up to 400. Why 400 A train? Because it's a nice round number and that means we'll get 40 fertilizer out of it. And we have two fields with 60 each. Okay, there we go. Uh, so. That road takes you to Borowo, okay? This road takes us back home. So take, take me home, because I don't remember. Oh, don't forget, always check this point right here. You get a fishing spear, maybe some trousers, um, and a couple other little things will spawn right here. Check that each season. Just go trucking through here. And then if the, the little lumber camp thingy is set up, that will be obvious. Obvious. Did I say that right? Obvious. Yes. All right. So here's home. Hooray and huzzah. We're back at the house. All right. What do I have that I need to dump? Bronze bars for sure. Drop that. Um, let's organize this. So double click. Double click again. Make sure there's an arrow in there. 
Uh, meat. Oh, meat. We need to cook the meat. Hooray. So take, take me home. We're not doing salted meat. Okay. We don't have salt. REF. Awesome. Man, we're going two hours here. That's right. So the beginning of this video, if you haven't been watching from the video, uh, I, I showed you how to do farming. All right, we got our two fields set up over there. So we got our flax field and we got our rainbow field. What the heck is a rainbow field, eh, Train? It's, it's a rainbow of stuff because we had a few seeds of this and a few of that and a few of the other. And so we just we completed out rows of 10 of each. Uh, I still need to figure out where, the, where to build the barn. And I guess if I'm not going to start this back over, uh, we can address... <laughs> blockhead if I'm not going to start this back over we might as well figure out what we're going to do with the barn and build the barn barns uh, rot we don't need to be carrying that around stinky simple bags that's that doesn't that weighs half a kilo well, okay 0.6 I can math steak X unripe berries ah oh, there's 20 kilos guess what we got more over here Hooray, 170, 177. So we have almost enough for one field. So we got 579. XEF, collect 600 at a pop. Be cognizant of your field size and collect number of field tiles times 10, right? Because it takes 10 berries or 10 rot. We're just going to leave that on the ground wherever. We lay a turn in the rot and we'll have 600 rot. And that means we can go in the barn and at the workbench convert that to 60 fertilizer. And we have two fields and they have 60 tiles each. So, oh, what the hell am I doing? Let's continue to review what we can drop over here. Um, oh, I got trees. Look at this. We got three plum trees, a cherry tree, and now we got apple trees. A is for apple, J is for jacks. All right, so with those, you find tree seedlings, I highly recommend you keep them. All right, we need to build the barn so we can convert our eight manure into four fertilizer and, and plant our final four tiles because somebody goofed up the math, although in inadvertently goofing up the math, I have actually saved myself the money. So there is a hammer time. Uh, there's that, there's that, there's that. There's some fishing spears we found laying around in a couple places. I still got 26 kilos. Why am I so heavy? Water skin, wooden bear fur. Oh, I'm carrying this crap ton of meat. That's why. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. All right, we got our nom, nom on, and that helps. Otherwise, I could dump some of this off in here which is kind of stupid, but... Oh, we are... Oh, we already have some roasted meat in here. Hmm. Uh, F, let's kick out, like... Uh, remember, each one is five food. You don't want to keep too much weight on you. See, three kilos. All right, cool. All right, where are we going to put this barn? Now, remember, the barn... <sighs> The barn does not need to be close to the fields. Only the farm shed and the farmer's houses need to be close to the fields. And our field's right here. Hey, bunny. Boom, bitch! <laughs> Tracking a target that's actually going away from you. That's how you get it done, son. I know it wasn't nice. It's a Poor little rabbit. Where's my arrow? See, now you, see, you can see what all I've got planted in the field. So I've got cabbage. I've got a row of carrots. I've got a row of oats. A row of beetroots. And a row of poppies. <laughs> That's the rainbow field. Now i got blood all in this field. Well, this is not blood upon the risers. He was just a rookie trooper. And he fell with fright. Really? If you're going to sit there, I'm going to shoot you in the ass. He shot me in the ass. 
Gory, gory, what a hell of a way to die. All right. And he ain't gonna hop no more. We've almost cleaned out the uh, rabbits, I think. Yeah, there's still a couple left. It's still white. Everything else around is gray. So we're gonna lose the rabbit spawn. Make sure you, if you're building stuff and there's an animal spawn nearby, go ahead and hunt them down because otherwise they're, they'll be gone the next season and you would have lost that resource. Where are we on hunting? Hunting and fishing. And if you don't know how to hunt, I've done a, like a five minute video on uh, basics of hunting and fishing. And he ain't gonna hop no more. Oh shoot, he saw us. Of course, I was making all kinds of noise. Now, see how he's turned left? Why is he turned left? All right, because he's at the edge of his spawn radius. So he's gonna keep turning left in front of us, which could be to his detriment. Ah, oh, damn it, missed him. Move my arrow back. All right, we're getting into scope creep. Now, whoops, that's a steak. I did not want that, I want the arrow. All right, a barn. Where are we gonna build a barn? A fine question you ask, viewer. Let's, uh, Lando. Which song? Blood Upon the Risers? That's what the con song's called. And he ain't gonna jump no more. Zoom, 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 zoom. That's the Airborne song. Gory, gory, what a hell of a way to die. Gory, gory, what a hell of a way to die. Gory, gory, what a hell of a way to die. And he ain't gonna jump no more. My dad was airborne, so I know that song. Plus, I've watched Band of Brothers like 20 times. Uh, so there's my flax field. Again, 10 by 6 field. What did we learn by a 10 by 6 field? Your simple small bag, which takes three leather to make by hand. Again, you go in your crafting menu. Here, boom, boom, three leather. Boom, simple bag, all right? That will handle 60 tiles of fertilizer or seed, okay? And then uh, a wooden hoe with no buffs on, because again, you can buff in your skills on farming. Careful farmer, this buffs the durability of your tools, okay? I imagine... Let me think about this for a second. 54, what's 20% of 54? Yeah, Band of Brothers is great. The book is really good too. Um, let's, no, not that. All right. 54 times 0.2 is 10, huh? Okay, 10.8. Hmm. Which isn't rocket science if you think about it a train 54 divided by 10 would be 5.4 times 2 is 10.8 20 percent doofus all right so anyway a wooden hoe will till 54 tiles so you may consider doing not a 10 by 6 but a 9 by 6 that's 54 tiles you know the simple small bag will last for one full pass and then a little bit extra and a wooden hoe will last for one tilling, okay? So when you have to grub the field initially or you've put down your fertilizer, that wooden hoe will last until you start doing careful farmer and making your tools more durable and then build a smithy and then you can start doing uh, stone tools, okay? So now, there's a couple of things uh, to consider here. I kind of like this consideration. This area over here, between here and the path, I wouldn't try to stick a field in here. What I would do is get this broadleaf plantain because if we build something here, we don't want to lose this. All right. What we could do, because this is kind of a, a, a confined space, is let's put a path here. That that all right now see we're just in the see the white area you can't build there once you get out in the edge see how wide the path is there's the width of the path but even the field is covering this gray area it's just the white area that's critical so we're going to face north here and we're going to move over to the other gray area which will be right there okay 
and we want to back up just as close as we can or you can look down all right and we want to face north now I'm gonna hit the button and hold it now I'm gonna look up and continue facing north so I can see where I'm going and let's see what we can do here ba -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. <laughs> oh, that's a steep drop off. I don't like that. Oh, that goes right through a broadleaf plantain patch, too. We don't want to do that. All right, let's just take this down to right here. Boom. God, I got rid of a bush. All right. So we can put some orchards in here and over here. Again, you want to be mindful. Uh, okay here I think we're okay let's get in the middle let's face due south and oh, we're gonna be right up again no it'll be fine it's fine it's fine it's fine tap forward tap forward tap 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 back 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 go forward stop back left click hold walk forward due south now I don't want to go too far because I again I don't want it's a couple of steaks more on oh we're going by the bushes Oh, wait, let's not let's gather the berries first. See, we lost the stones. That's okay. And see how the edge of the path is cut off at the field. That'll be fine. It's fine. Gather the berries. Okay, because we're probably going to lose those bushes if we continue this path. So I would keep these couple of trees and then build around. So like here in the middle, like you could you know what this might be a good place for some orchards right here because they won't take up a lot of space and then you can keep the berries I mean if we build the path we'll lose a few of the berries but just like this bush and that bush those two will go bye bye otherwise it will continue up this way rabbit aim over his head oh damn it aim too far over his head well he took off like a Rabbit out of hell, didn't he? <laughs> Shut up, Patron. Uh, retrieve weapons. Also, um, oh, there, and then there's more berries right there. There's a sometimes there's a trunk up here too, and I think it's right here in this dirt spot. So, be uh, be looking for that. Bolo, be on the lookout. All right. So anyway, there's a couple of trees in the middle. What I think I would do here, because again, you want your farm shed near the fields. And then you want your farmer's houses near the farm shed. So I'd put like a fire pit in here. And then maybe, maybe you can fit two houses over here, probably. If you face west. Stand in the place where you are now face west. Um, let's get this out of our hand. Let's go here. Building houses, simple small houses. Back up, back it up, back, back, back it up. Consolidate your space. Okay. Let's say we put one there. And let's move over here. And let's do the same thing. This is just checking to see if this will work. Because if it's stupid, but it works, it's not stupid, right? Yeah. So we got room for a couple of houses. We've got, shoot, we almost got room for three. So it might be good to do two of the houses and then, um, yeah, that puts them right by the fields. I, you know, um, uh, I think I would do the farm shed further up. I would do the farm shed up here. Oh, look, there's a broadleaf plantain patch. All right. Um, and the reason I would do the farm shed up on this side, are those berries? They are. Not those. Yep. Is it you want that to be centered. And then I would put the houses along this side and that side. So simple small house. Eventually, think this through. You get a man who is a farming expert. And you get a woman who's a farming expert and you pair them up in that house, right? Or, or, or are you tracking, are you picking up on laying down here? Um, 
And then you've got your farmers there. Of course, then the woman gets knocked up and she's out of commission for two years. But, you know, you just got to balance out your workforce and everything. So. Ducks. Quack, quack. Was there anything I... Did I leave anything in these barrels? I know I've checked twice. Okay. Nope, we're good. So those will probably disappear and that spawn point may get checked out because we're kind of building close. We still haven't figured out the freaking barn situation. Um, all right. I think the barn needs to be between the fields and the village. And then we need room for... for animal stuff i don't want to clear cut all these trees through here so there's room for a number of houses right here we got room over here this is if you're not sure where i am on the map this is where i am right here this is where i am is what i where i am all right and it's day six so we got to get this figured out here because we, we got seven days to deal with um and we need to get that last bit of uh cabbage in the ground not that it's the end of the world and we know it and I feel fine but we could put some room between the houses here that way we can upgrade anytime you build a house gang always build with stone walls and then the wood tile roof you can't do it with your first house you gotta have a woodshed first right which we're gonna have to chop down trees and eat our lunch just like our old papa because we need the wood we need the woodshed all right so you gotta do extracting building extraction and building we're going to have to do a bunch of extraction to build buildings. And then that will get us the points for the woodshed. And that's where we're going to want to put our first villager. So, because uh, then they can go do all the logging work for us and we don't have to clear cut everything. We could put animal pens over in this area. So it's kind of a clearing up here. Up. Goodbye. Lead the target. Ooh, he is shake, rattling, and rolling. We're going to shake, rattle, and roll. Are we done yet? Have we killed all the bunnies? Nope, there's still bunnies around. Do I see him? I don't see him. Um, so, yeah, this is good. I uh, don't care about morel mushrooms. Might as well grab the stones and at least get them out of the space. There's broadleaf plantain. Here, let's drop stones over here. All right. Because um, I could move these fields if necessary, but I really am feeling pretty good about this location. It's just eventually we're going to want to expand the fields that way, which we've got plenty of room to do. And so this is all part of the city planning stuff. We build a city, shitty plan with a shitty wall. Why you, why you break down my shitty wall, you Mongo, stupid Mongolians? Let's go back to um, here. Do, 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 do. Banana, -na. do 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 do, banana, -na. do do. Leave the broadleaf plantain. We'll collect that. All right, cool. Uh, one thing we could do is jog over and pick up that um, those logs that are just laying over there. Of course, then there was logs we left sitting over there too. But these are closer logs. And if you guys haven't seen this, all right. So the the road to Denica splits off right here. This is why I like this spot because it puts you between Gustovia and Denica. And it puts you in the middle of all the northern villages, which then makes life very easy to get around. And unless you need horses, you do not, and are doing the Unigas quest line, you do not need to go to Hornica. Uh, we are stinky crap. All right, let's go over here. Again, there's the central island. We already went over and got the coin purse. Uh, and the, oh, that's where we got the shovel. Uh, wait a minute. How did I miss this the first go round? You blockhead. Give me the bronze axe. Uh, you know what? Give me, give me the firewood and the crate. I love those crates. Those are nice. That's what I do uh, my um, composting in, is those wood crates. 
All right. So yeah, look for that right here. Sometimes there's a cart right here. Uh, and then we found the barrels down here. Let's go get clean because we're stinky. And there is the right there. See him right there? See him moving in the water right above the dot? That's Pike. It's not Christopher Pike. All right, now we're kind of unstinky. Now we should be fully unstinky. Zero stinkiness. All right, cool. Unscanny uh, pop. What the hell are we doing? All right, we're going to take all that firewood back over, but we're going to go get these logs first. So come over here to the, see the logs right there? Make sure there's nothing. We already, yeah, I don't think there was anything along the creek anyway. Cool. Now, in case you didn't know, so again, this is the road to, to uh, Denica, not Danica, the Denica. Uh, if, when you're doing the Unigos quest, if you're an FNG to the game, which means you're a freaking new guy, okay? Um, you talk to Doba, Doba Nira, whatever her name is, Unigos' wife, she says we're missing the name. You talk to Jadzawira, and then she says you need to go talk to the dude in Rolnica, Okay. Why don't you go talk to the dude in Rolnica? He says, well, where the heck is the, our, our delivery dude? We sent him. All right. So then it sends you on a, you got to find the, the delivery dude. And over in this area along the main path on the south side of the river, which is this path here, okay, because you leave Rolnica and then you backtrack. About this area here, you'll, you'll see a blood path. The blood trail leads you this direction and up to the base of this waterfall. And this is where we are. All right. And that's where you'll find the dude wounded right there. You give him some broadleaf plantain. And then you got to go back to Rolnica and talk to the dude again. And he gives you some more stuff to transport. And you go back across and he sends help to help the dude. Um, and then you can close out the Dobernira, Dober, whatever name is, quest. But up here, campsite. And this is an abandoned camp. I already cleared it out. But this is a hunting camp. All right. So if you've watched my video on the looting path, this is a hunting camp. This is what appears at site four. Oh, hey, you know something? I can show you right here, okay? So this is the looting path map. Notice the start point. You start, uh, there's the cart at one, then there's loot at two. You follow the path down to the bottom middle where the green zero four is. That will be a hunting camp where you'll get an ax, you'll get a bow, you'll get some iron arrows, a uh, stone knife, maybe some fur, all right? That's what you find at that camp. That camp was not there. But you know where that camp is? It is where we are. Okay? And that is right here. So it was not... It was not here. But it is here. All right? So that's where we got a uh, bow and some stuff. Of course, we went and all the way to Lesnica and we bought a bunch of crap because we had like 4,000 coins. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's grab this firewood now that we're here. Normally I don't gra grab firewood, but I'm making an exception. All right, let's see where we are weight-wise. 48 kilos. I think we could do a little hunting. Let's do a little hunting. There's deer this way. There's all kinds of crap to hunt this way towards Denica. Let's go get the piggies at least. Oh, we need some water. And they need some high quality H2O. Cool. But yeah, that's where you'll find that dude. So that's that's early on in the Unigost quest, which is not technically Unigost quest. It's part of the Unigost quest, but it's Dobernega's story. So you got to cycle through all that crap with her. All right. This is great hunting grounds over here because you got moose, you got rabbit. Rabbit's irrelevant. You want moose, you got deer. Um, don't shoot the lynx. And then you got piggy. And the piggies are usually. Oh, by the way, did I not get this earlier? Oh, I didn't. I think I came through here in the evening. I hear a piggy. All right, that's, 
That's a fox. Or oh, lynx. Girl, lynx, get out of here. I don't want to shoot you. I want to shoot the piggy. So when you're coming along through here, early game, this this um, this fence here effectively gives you some cover from uh, the the piggies. So piggies will be right over here. I should see one here if I move. Well, where are the fat boys? Straight ahead of us. See, there's the spawn point. I, I don't know if it quite reaches the path, so I don't know if they can range you here. But unless you just get unlucky and there's one like right up here, it's not really a threat. I know this is scope creep. Totally scope creep. Oh, there's Piggy. Damn it. Freaking, that was a lousy shot, dude. Give me my arrow back. Oh, piggy. All right, there's a lynx. Where's bacon bits? Drop this buck. Shoot. Here, Peggy. Oh, there he is. Oh, hand to hand. Really? Die, bitch. Now, I didn't secure my area, which would have been smart. And what I mean by that is when you put yourself in that situation, something else could come up and get you. Don't do that. Make sure you you secure your area around two iron arrows. Good, I got them both back. Um, See that bird? Yep, that bird. White tailed eagle. All right. Let's see here. What else? I still got to figure out where the hell to put that barn, don't I? I keep farting around with this. Oh, we got the bronze axe, too. That's nice. Consolidate weapons. Okay, that's good. Logs. We got weight. Oh, we're on. We still got some room. We got a bunch of meat. Uh, I got a couple things to sell. Bronze axe is going to give us some nice coin. Um, a moose. You know what? The, the good thing for moose hunting is the iron crossbow. Now, let's see if she follows the pattern. Headshot first. Damn it. Damn it. I let the button go. Piggy. Take him first. He's coming at us. We didn't spook her, though. Now, we spook Bullwinkle. All right, so now Bullwinkle's going to run off, and then he's going to hit the edge of the spawn, but he took a right. I'm hoping that she will take a left. Shoot, now she's going back right. D uh, dang it. This place. Now she's coming right at us. Got her. Two shots. 
Excellent. Didn't have to chase her even. Sorry, ma'am. It's a good size animal though, so that's good points for your uh, hunting skill. All right, we only got one of our arrows back, so let's look around. Oh, there's one. It's rolling along here. Roll tide, roll. There's another one up here. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Lots of lots of berries up here we could collect. How are we doing on weight? Yeah, no, we're maxed out. Let's let's head back. Or we could head to Denica and sell that axe. Go on, rabbit. Let's do that while it's still. Oh, it's 1700, yeah. Don't totally run yourself out of. Remember, lynx, the, the skittish animals, lynx, fox. Oh, watch out for a bad guy camp right in this area. I saw one once. I was telling you about earlier. And they had the pikes, which is the, like, fence area. What's up, Uber? Kinga, you got any money? Hello. Or did I take all your money? Whatever you need, I've got oh, it. Oh, you got money. Here, buy that. Um, buy these feathers. Boop, boop, boop. Buy this fur. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, leather. Boop, boop. We got tons of meat. She can buy that. Boop, boop. 24 on right berry. Wicker crate. We're going to keep the figurines. Oh, we can sell this water skin. We'll keep the other one. Thank Goodbye. you. All right, while we're here, let's see what's going on. It's all chicky poos. Eh? All right, she's a villager. She's irrelevant. So there's Matilda in the building right here. That's your local seamstress. So go there to get your simple large uh, backpack and your large pouch. All right. Let's, uh, let's heal for a second. And we're no, we're not bad on stinky. Cool. All right. Uh, all right. So these two, let's look at them from. Holy crap! So Ingarda is a two at everything, and Gastawa is a three at diplomacy, but twos and then one at hunting. I would not recruit either one of them. But what we can do Hello. is flirt with them. Can I ask you a question? How do you like it here? It's great. Views are nice. The soil is fertile on my... Oh, my. Now I have... Boring is that. Should I move? This is a busy bee type, I think. What do you do in your spare time? Since drinking... Oh, never mind. She's a free spirit. We're back to this whole deal. Uh, favorite season is never have to drink a warm beer. She's a free spirit. Uh, do you have a favorite color? Orange it suits me. It's like a flame. Hot and love to dance in the wind. Hmm. Free spirit. Okay. There's there's some answers. Uh, you need some time? Okay, whatever. Goodbye. Who are you? Excuse me. Oh, Matilda. What's up? Walking through the fire and stuff. All right, let's talk to Gustavo. Hey, what's up? Seem very interesting. Uh, what's your favorite season of the year? Summer. Ah, she is a snob. How do you know this, A-Train? Read what she says. Is there really any other choice than summer? Nature achieves its peak of beauty. It's warm and sunny. Here's the trick. Plus, my legs look amazing in shorter skirts. Snob. Watch. Hide and watch. Okay. What's your biggest dream? Wanted to be an adventurer, but I don't know. I just wish to be happy. My dream is not to be a queen. I don't have to wish for something that's bound to happen, but to build a kingdom mightier than any you've ever seen before. Snob. Okay? Right? Working often get on her skin. Okay, so this, if, if she's a busy bee, she'll say, I don't like free time. Favorite food. 
I don't know, not because I'm indecisive, but because I haven't tried it yet. Sure, my most beloved food must be something exotic and unique. Snob. What brought you here? Been afraid of heights. How do you like it in the valley? It's fine for a stop on my journey at least. I was born for greatness, you know. Snob. Got the picture? Oh, look, we're going to be able to hit. Uh, do you have any advice for me? Watch this. This is going to be ugly. Only one. If you ever find yourself standing in the way of my success, do yourself a favor and move, or I'll move you myself. Snob. Okay. That's how you know where they are. Now, we're, you, you can only get 25% affection, but now we know she's a snob. Okay. See you soon. Yeah. No, no, you won't because you're a twat. <clears throat> All right. So that's good. Now we've, uh, we've done some stuff here. We've dropped a little bit of our weight off. We've already checked the cliff side that the bronze pickaxe is not there. So let's weapons up. We could jog up the trail here a piece. Now, a lot of people recommend, I wouldn't for new people, a lot of people recommend building your um, village up over this area over here. Scope creep. Typically, there would be a uh, crash cart back there. All right. Um, let me just go a little further. I'm going to try to trigger a couple animal spots. There's a fox, boar, boars on the right, I think, piggy on the right. All right, let me show you where we are on the map. So we're southeast out of Denica, okay? And this is the track to basically take you over to Hornica. We'll take you to the center of the map. Some people recommend you building this space here. It's fairly flat. Too many birch trees for my liking. Uh, it's close to Denica, but you're also further away from everything else. That's why I like this spot. As when you're doing the Unigos quest line, you got to go to Hornica. You got to go to Jezerica, back to Hornica. Okay, you'll dink around in this area a little bit, going to visit the dude at the camp over here. You got to go down here, talk to the dude. You got to give him his crossbow back or whatever. All right. Building over here is an option. You got to clear out the boar and eventually the wizard. Okay. This area here, you see the boar is right in front of us. But if we go east a little further, there's wolves here. And I think there's wizard here. There's wolves also further up this path, I think, here. This one goes up over the mountain. So I'm not a fan of this early game because there's a lot of threats in the area. Now, there's a lot of cool crap you can get around this lake. So we'll, we'll head down there and take a look. Uh, and if you go west over here, I th there's a wolf spawn over in this area too. So just be cognizant of that. You know, be prepared. Um, we'll head up over, over towards the creek. I hear him. All right, Foxy. Be cool. All right. Uh, oh, there's a potential campsite up here on the left. Wolf. Wolves are up over here. Tatanka, right there. All right, it's getting creepy, it's getting night. Oh, a trunk. Oh, nice, check that out. You'll find these all over the map. All right, sometimes you will find a camp spawn right there. The wolves are guarding the camp think there's one right there hey snapperhead food boy smile there's his buddy up behind him oh there's the camp right there we're going to the camp okay there's still one check your map Zoom in. If the animal is still white, there is still an animal in the area. If it's grayed out, like these, they're dead. All right? Until next season. 
I don't know how much longer our knife's going to last. I sound like a badger. Give me back my arrow. Oh, damn it. See, didn't I just bring that up? I'm pretty sure I just brought that up because I was here when I brought that up. All right, so we just need to grab some steak. Some stone. Okay. Craft us a stone knife. That way we can skin animals if we killed them. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. We're still heavy, but we got plenty of room for stuffs. All right, slot eight, please. Thank you. Where am I on the skill chart here? For Oh, we're almost there. See, we want tracker because then we can do the IFF skill. Identify friend or foe. Money pouch. 50 coin. Cool. What else is around here? Uh, clay pot bowl. There's got to be something. Since I'm collecting firewood. Hey, shut up. Alan Mad Murdoch, what is that? Cannot be it. There's got to be something I'm missing here. And it's gotten dark. Oh, there's a shovel. It's a bronze shovel. Oh, iron shovel. That's even better. Uh, let's see here. Where are we? Eat those. Eat that. Oh, we got tons of roasted meat. And I haven't loaded my water skin. Wait, no, I have I do have the water skin loaded. Done. Okay, we're good. Alright, so the iron shovel was the takeaway from this camp. Which wait a minute. Iron shovel, clay bowl, wooden spoon somewhere, anybody? Is there a wooden spoon? I'm going to tell you what the point is of that exercise. So there's a clay purse, or there's a, a, a coin purse. Any supplies around? I'm thinking this may be a copy of the camp at site 10. Not quite. That site usually has a clay bowl, a wooden spoon, an iron shovel, um, a coin purse with like 50 to 75 coins, and then a, uh, a, a small supply package with some more coins and wine or something in it. So let's just make sure we're not missing anything. What the hell is site 10, eh, train? Ah, that's a fine question you ask. Have you watched my Looting Path video, part one of this series? Let me show you. Let's hit that. Let's hit this. And we will go back and look at the map again. The Looting Path. And you can look, you can pull this map up on my uh, channel here, which you should like, share, and subscribe. Uh, all right. So if we go to look right in the center of the map, the red 10, where it says camp, that's the camp I was just referring to. You'll find an iron shovel. Maybe maybe a bottle of wine. Wood spoon, clay bowl, don't mess with them. Firewood, don't mess with that. You want to get in, get out. And let, especially if you're unarmed and you can get the wolves to go after the rabbits or not be in the campsite. Uh, get in, get out, get gone. Uh, get back on path, head down to spot 11. Um, so this is a similar setup to that camp. That's why I'm looking. By the way, if you're curious... As to why visibility looks so good, again, 
I play on 125% brightness. Is that cheating a train? No, because you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. Dang it. Where? Where is this wolf? Where are you? I want to get this point so then we can use the IFF skill. That's that's it right there. But that's for plants. Okay, there's fox. That is not wolf. Wolf is worth more than fox. Could just get some deer too. Now Tatanka's over here. But we ain't messing with him. Tatanka, you want the iron crossbow. There he is. Hey, Snapperhead, food boy. Yeah, you. There's no reply at all. There's no reply at all. There's Bullwinkle. All right, have we killed all the, the wolves? Yes, wolves are do it. done. All right, we saw the Tatanka. They're right here. That's why this is not a path I frequent at all. And you come up over this side, and there's wolves up in here. Now, you can go up over top of the mountain. There can be a campsite up there, though. I'd love to get the moose. This is not a safe place to hunt moose because there's wizard in the area. Look up. Losing it. All right, now we've triggered the wizard spawn. Got him. Oh, there's iron arrow. Give me my arrow back. Shoot. There it goes. Give me my arrow back. D kid. Where's where's my arrow? Oh, it rolled all the way over. I don't know how it rolled through the bushes magically, but it did. All right, cool. Now, wasn't right there. Prosecute the kill. Remember, you get full credit one when you skin the animal. If you don't, just like if you don't chop the tree and the logs, you don't get full uh, credit. So let's see where we're at here. Oh my gosh, we need 16 points. Gee. Use your head, snap ahead. All right, uh, if we track back up this path here deer are over here deer are over here but we're overweight now what you could do at that point is um, kill the animal skin the animal all right so there is that uh, camp kill the animal skin the animal get the meat Drop the meat. And I mean, if you have to, drop the fur and stuff. I'm not hunting with Fox. Move on, Foxy. Yep, you're welcome. Let you live. 
anybody listening? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, fine. There's no reply at all. Da -da -da. Now we went around that camp that was over here, but we've been to it twice, so. Least the wrong button. One shot. Head or neck? Make the shot. That's the key. Make the shot. Head shot is best. Just like that. Yeah, I know. We're getting loaded up on crap here. We're almost home, though, so. There we go. That's what we wanted. IFF. Um, that is not the droid we're looking for. Tracker. Okay, tracking animals in inspector mode. We have two points to spend. So that's going to be the first one. This helps you see stuff at night. Now, we have options. Okay, we can move on to a number three level. We can drop back and punt to hunting knowledge or steady hand, which is stabilizes you for your uh, range weapons. Careful hunter allows uh, additional resources. Experience hunter, slower durability, of, uh, loss of durability. Trapping, I don't care. We would like to get strong arm and lock and load. To do that, we got to do a level three skill. Uh, I'm actually thinking steady hand. Okay. Because look, next level, 30% steadier aiming. Okay. Now we do want to unlock more experience, but I mean, you just keep hunting and hunting and hunting. Like this. Boom. Give me my arrow back. Do re mi fat so. Okay, we are going to head for the house. And the house is that way. <laughs> this is our best speed we can make right here. We are encumbered. We have a ton of crap though. Now you can see we're close because we're by the trees I've cut down. Where are we going to put the barn? This is this is barn day. We have to we have to build the barn. Hmm. I guess over here on the village side of the field will be where we put it. Maybe on this side of the path. Is this little open space right here? Oh yeah, you can still strafe and move faster. I hear you. Quit whining. Jeez. There's no reply at all. Hey, if you guys check in or, uh, or are on listening, uh, check in with your location or local airport code. Tell me where you are on planet Earth. That would be super cool. Uh, okay, what do we got here? <sighs> Clay bowl, we can sell that. Oh, copper ore, that's an easy drop. XEF, boom. Deer skull, two of them. Another five kilos. Doink. What else we got? Fur. Drop all that. Let's organize this. Iron shovel. That's always good. Let's drop that over here with our tools. Anybody listening? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, but there's no reply at all. Ba, 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 ba. Kind of cool, huh? Iron shovel. Drop the shovel. Okay, cool. We're still overweight. Well, we got like, oh, we got a bunch of firewood. That's part of the issue. All right, that'll take care of that initially. Um, we've got a bunch of 
leather. I think I got leather over here. There it is. <laughs> the logs. Oh, there's only one. This will this will work. All right. Uh, that, and then that will give you six. Boink. Hundred and six meat. <laughs> That's redonkulous. Um, what else? Oh, wicker crate. I forgot about. Oh, we got and we got a stupid wooden shovel too. Put that over here with this other stupid wooden shovel. Now we got an iron shovel. We got a real shovel. That was dramatic. Uh, and then we got the wicker crate, which is super cool. And again, this is why I use for um, um, oh, steak. Hang on. Wicker crate is why I used to do composting in. Dang it, I didn't want the. Do I got other steak down here somewhere? No, no more steak. Okay, so two things we got to accomplish here is um, got to build the barn and first we got to find a location for the barn. You got to build the barn. I think we're going to put it over here. So here's our path. Let's see how this takes us across. If I take this path and I go due east with it. We may lose those trees. So let's chop down these trees and then we need to shovel them out. So we got a couple things to do here real quick. We're going to get this barn built and then we're going to wrap this up because it's 2 o'clock in the morning here. Central U.S. time. Way later than I was planning on being up. This is a three-hour live stream at this point. I don't think I went live till like after 10. So maybe pushing four hours. We'll see. No reply at all. Yeah, three hours. Anybody listening? Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh. Uh, shovel. Yes. Uh, let's just use one of these stupid wooden. So, here's my thought. My thought is, damn it, he heard me from so freaking far away, that's ridiculous. Requires a knife. What happened to my stone knife or did I break it? Huh. Maybe I broke it. I killed a bunch of stuff, didn't I? All right, let's throw that into slot eight. Skin the wabbit, skin the wabbit. All right, back to our mission here. All right, so we're going to build east on this road, this path, which means this tree could be an issue. Timber. This tree could be an issue. Is 
Watch for falling trees, people. Do not let the falling trees hit you. The logs will not hurt you. The falling tree will. Okay. So let's uh, equip that wood shovel slot seven, please. Shot, uh, shot slevin. Yes. Oh, we're heavy. Doggone it. That's okay. All right. I have a plan. Plan on building the barn in this area. So, go here. I still have 108 stinking meat on us. That's dumb. All right, genius. See if you can figure this out. Walk the path. I think we're okay this way. That gets us up past, does it? That does not. It's birch trees in the way. Sell it. Now we're stinky. Come back here. Okay, I think we're... I th Back to our road. Cool. Now we should be good. So now let's kick back over here. Grab this. Now we're very heavy. We're going to drop all the logs together. So I just can't get rid of this meat. All right, we're going to lose some henbane. East. There we go. All right. Ain't pretty, but it works. If it's stupid, but it works, it's not stupid. Okay. Let's, give her, let's, get, let's get this meat out of our hands. It'd be nice if you could do just a little bit of terraforming, but you can't. So don't complain about it. Um, we're going to come down here. Jump in the river. Duck underwater. De-stinkify. Zero stinkiness. Good. Run back up here. Those are great spots for fishing uh, deals, by the way. All right. We're going to need those. And then we need to come in here. And that. Roast the meat. That's a lot of meat to roast. <laughs> now remember, once you unlock the kitchen, you can unlock recipes here.
Hey, hey. That worked out. One point to spend. Uh, builder or handyman. Now we can uh, unlock insulation. We have two points in builder. Um, still not worried about insulation. We got a lot of building to do. A lot of crafting to do. Uh, we could pick up additional crafting. Oh, no. That's only if you're using in the workshop or smithy. Uh, which we're not doing yet. So... I'm going to wait on Handyman because um, we're going to need the insulation because we're building our houses only with stone walls, right? And then we've got to have an excavation hut and put a villager work in there to go gather limestone because you got to have like 60-something limestone, 66-ish, to insulate a small, uh, a small stone house. We're going to go ahead and use this. All right, that'll increase... So, again, cauldron, we can cook whatever. Pottage is your friend. All right, scope creep. Uh, let's <laughs> Look how much freaking meat we have. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's find us a place to build this deal. Grab those. That seems like a pretty reasonable spot. Oh, we're going to lose all this Hendane or whatever the hell this is. I think it's Hendane. Yeah, Thistle's only up at the higher elevations. So maybe, maybe we don't build right there. Maybe we build right here. Save the Hendang. I mean, we could build something on this side. Well, that would make sense. Duh. All right. I know. I'm overweight. Oh, hugely overweight. Uh, so we'll try to we'll try to save the Hendang for now. It'll come out in summer, which is a day away. It's only a day away. All right. Listen, I need you to not roll away on me. They're coming this way. Which means I go about here. I'll stop them. Thank you. Drop that tree. I guess we could keep those couple of spruce trees there. I, I kind of want to keep a few trees around. Ain't not close enough. Okay. All right. Uh, let's throw these down here. Yeah, I think this is good. I think this is going to work. I think this is going to be a good spot. Now, remember, the barn is a pass through building. So if I face north. I don't have anything. Barn is a pass through. So before we go placing it, let's go ahead and grab anything that's in the area. Remember, this is your survival skills. Keep grabbing stuff until you maxed it out. This should work. I think this is enough space. Uh, farming barn. Okay, I think we're good. Twelve stones. So we got three 
You only got 17. Give me. I'm blocking the building site. I'm blocking the building site. Come here, logs. Stupid asses. Okay, our wood hammer is not going to survive this, but that's okay. Uh, we got to go get the straw. Oh, I got steak on me. I forgot I had steak. Hang on. Do I have any logs left? I do not. Which means I need to chop down another tree. Or I can go get the... Uh, dig up the... So now when it breaks, I won't have to re-slot it because it will automatically re-slot. Okay. Cool. Yep, see, just like that. One, two, three, four, five, six logs, seven, Uh, we don't need stones. Let's drop those. Okay. And we need a couple more trees. I think... Th yeah, this one's going to be actually... Um, It's just barely going to be cutting into the building. So we'll take it. Oops. Come here. All right, let's see here. We got this, this. that and logs oh, I can grab the straw what a blockhead all right we may need additional straw all right so we need one log Two, two logs? That's a birch tree. Let me look through this gap here. All right, so we need two logs. That's a birch tree. Oh, look, there's a convenient birch tree. And 
we just gotta go get our straw. And then we'll go ahead and just dig this up. I don't like the birch trees. They're great plywood, but we don't need that. Not for this job. Oh, I did. Is that it for the logs? I can't remember if we need one more. Oh, we're good. Okay, awesome. Because I was a doofus, I forgot the straw. I don't know if we got enough to do the roof, though. How much do we have? 60? Oh, yeah, that's enough. We should only need like 24. Maybe 32. I think there's... Eh, we'll see. So like one side is two sections of roof, like this side over here, and then the front is like three sections. This may take 56 total. Yay! That's what we wanted right there, boys and girls. Why is that, A-Train? Because that's where you want to put your first villager to work. So they can cut down trees and eat their lunch just like their old papa. And you can make wooden planks to make wood tile roofs. So you make your houses out of stone and wood tile roofs. Then your villagers are in the best possible house they can get for the money. All right, the barn's complete. Hooray. Okay. So now, that being said, we're going to finish our farming duties, as it were. And I said duties, as in D-O-O-D-I-D-I-E. Duty, duty in the pool. Give me the duty. Give me the... Ho, ho, ho. Uh, we still have wheat on, in our hands. We don't need that right now, but we can take care of that real quick. All right, so we're going to come in here to the workbench. So we have the eight manure, right? We're going to make fertilizer out of manure, R-E-F. All right, that's done. All right. So we're going to go right here. And we're going to whip out our bag. And we're going to click, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do bop. And we're going to whip out our, we got to equip the hoe. Oh, it is equipped. Okay, cool. Whip our bag back out. Right click, click here, and cabbage. And there we go. Boom. Fields planted. Good to go. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to thresh our wheat grain, which is stupid. So I do REF. Okay, cool. All right, so that takes care of that. And so now we're set. So we got all this rye grain, that's for the fall. And then the wheat grain, that's for the fall. I know it's not much, we'll, we'll buy more. We'll probably buy uh, I don't know. 16. So we can do two rows of wheat grain and then we'll do, we might buy seven rye grain. They give us 30. And then I guess wheat grain will buy 26 to give us 30. And then we can do 30 and 30. And that way we can, uh, 
um, plant a whole field of 60. What else do we need to put in here? Anything? I think we're good for now. That's awesome. Good show, boys and girls. We got, that's what we needed. We'll build something here during the summer. I want to get the hen vein in, in house. Um, wish we could level these stupid bumps. But uh, yeah, that's, that's big time progress there. So we got our, our barn built now. And our skills for crafting and cooking, trees, mining, and digging. Excuse me. Oh, now we're working towards, oh, see, this is what you need to get to, excavation shed. Because that's where you can put people to work um, gathering the stones for you. And that's, uh, that's smart. Get people doing that work for you. So, yeah, we'll have to go uh, clear out the mine. And we want to do that. Shoot, it's day seven, too. So we want to do that. What time is it? It's 12.50. Eek. Right, we've planted. We've done all the time items. Trees. we got to get the trees planted. All right. So I'll do that later. We gotta get those trees in the ground, and then we want to truck up to the mine, and we want to um, uh, yeah. Uh, we want to truck up to the mine, and we're going to uh, mine that as best we can so guys i hope you learned something i know the first like 15 20 minutes of the video was the the key learning aspect as far as farming goes i'll set that up as its own individual video so you can see that and just watch it boom i'll edit it down it'll be a nice compact package um so i appreciate you being here i hope you enjoyed it i hope you give us a like share with your friends let them know about the channel let them now know about medieval dynasty now available on steam from render cube games and top Let's productions it's a fantastic game fantastic um also make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell icon so you know we go live or upload a video and uh i'd say join us on discord i think the link's good if it's not send me a message in the chat i'll correct or update it and send it to you uh any questions put those in the uh, comments below and uh i appreciate you being here i hope you enjoyed it and hope you have a great day night evening morning wherever you are on planet earth or beyond i'm a train it's over and i'm out